Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how are you doing? Fine folks at home, we're live from Seattle, Washington. I'm not sure what day it is, but this is definitely episode 25 of Can't Stop Playing, the podcast we've now done for a quarter of a century. Been yeah. a long time. We're all here live in Seattle, Washington, meeting some of my friends. This one's name is Gabe. Vol- yeah. Volatile Gabe. Just Gabe. Just Gabe. Yeah. The volatile part uh, got I, I, dropped. I, yeah, I'm like Prince now. Oh. I'm formerly known as what, Volatile. What baby. symbol are we rocking for you? Oh, we're working the Triforce. Okay, that's okay. pretty good. I'm Zach Ghost Robo. Um, when we met Max, <laughs> yeah, it's a little shorter than we ex- <laughs> expected. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> now watch. Now it's gonna be an actual thing. Everybody's gonna think no. I'm that short. I'm sitting on a chair that's way lower than anything that you guys are sitting on. Yeah. We're having a great, uh, a great time, time here. You do- I'm a little bit shorter than I mean, we, we've only lost Max like four times at PAX so far. Yeah. He just gets buried in the ground. I, he, I yeah. put him in my pocket. I forgot I had put him there. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I like uh, have my legs like dwindling down from yeah. his yeah. pocket. Tomorrow, we're going to give him the swagway so he can uh, do a little hike. Gain, gain a couple of inches. Make yeah. some gains. And we made some gains in terms of new games that we play. It's finally the season where games are releasing, which is exciting. Yeah. I have a couple in the room with me right now. Mad Max, Metal Gear Solid Five. Uh, waiting on some other stuff. Until Dawn has been fantastic, and we haven't had a chance to talk about that. Plus, PAX is here. We saw some panels. We saw a wedding. <laughs> that, 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 we saw a wedding. We went no, 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 no. A wedding. Zach knew about that the whole time. That was my whole reason for being here. Oh, really? Yeah. I want to learn about marriage for oh, our wow. relationship. We saw a wedding. How tripped out is that? Like, at PAX, in it a was panel. so weird. And then Randy Pitcher did magic. That, he, no, that's he expected. Is magic. That's he, expected. Honestly. I don't. I don't think he did. I think he is. Magic. His son wore matching a matching shirt too. He looks nothing like. I him. think if I could buy any piece of clothing yeah. ever, it would be that jacket. You know, it's like one hundred twenty dollars for that for no, that no, shirt. The jacket. Oh, okay. That's probably With more. the glitters. Okay. That it's would be brilliant. Late at night, we're all ready for a nice warm bath, but we're bringing you a show. All about stuff that we enjoy. Sorry for the quality, by the way. I know it's probably great. I probably sound better than ever. I know. I, the, I always probably. Sound good. Yeah, the audio is yeah. probably not fantastic. We know the camera isn't fantastic, but, but it's we're not still our fault. doing it. And we're, and we're doing it live. Yeah. And you've got a cityscape behind you. Yeah, you want to open this? Yeah, kind of, no, we don't. We've got a live it. audience you can here. You see it like right there. Like eh. look, we have a very live audience. Oh, here. we we have a live audience Laughing. technically. We yeah. do. Yeah. Trevor, Trevor, wave. Hi, Trevor. Say hi, Trevor. Uh, Wait, that's did you Trevor. just ask him to wave? Yeah, wave. How, how would that come it's across? It's breaking the, the fourth wall. No, yeah, dude, Deadpool. he's our live oh, audience. Really? He's yeah. our live audience. Okay. So, Trevor, when you need to phone a friend, just let us know. You can okay. do that. Sounds good. Trevor won a prize package from CSP where he got to come visit with us, stay in our hotel room, do everything we do. Cuddle with us sometimes. Sometimes, so, you know. We went yeah. to Whole Foods. I got my Taylor Swift blanket, him? by the way. Oh, uh, wow. I just thought I would show that even though I don't have the cutout with me, she, she's here, but not forgotten. We're actually going to talk about games today. Th- this um, is quite possibly the most expensive episode we've ever done in terms of like actual produced segments. Yeah. Because we have things that we actually like plan to do. The, yeah. the, the $4 imported chips? Yeah. We, the, which is... Oh, the chips. That's the budget of the... I was going to start talking about the panel, but... We let's, have, get, let's just do the chips so we can get it chips. over with. Max was kind enough to bring us some ketchup chips all the way from the Grand... Canadia. The Grand Hiberia, Siberia. <laughs> Hi, 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 Hiberia. It's wherever... Hyrule. Hyrule. Hiberia. No, Hiberia. Okay. You know it's, what that means? No. It's okay, hi- hibernation. It's right. hibernation, but it's you got to make it sound like cool so Max doesn't feel bad. So about Packers it. Nation. No, Hiberia. Pa- Packeria. No, Packers, they lost their number one receiver. They did. Aaron Rodgers has the but, ugly, ugliest but, mustache since Hitler. No, dude, Olivia Munn likes it. A lot of people like Olivia she, Munn. I think she's lost a little bit of her, her looks. You think so? I think it's dwindling. But you know what hasn't lost a bit of its looks? Well, it actually has. Trevor. During the flight. What? The, those potato oh, chips. Let's Live studio audience, can you gather our <laughs> chips, please? We're kind of locked into this position. <laughs> if you could see the hotel room behind us, you would be amazed uh, by uh, my... <laughs> our production value. Our production value is huge. Uh, also, I'm going to need water, so can you like... <laughs> yeah, I'm ba- sorry. Basically, I'm a huge... That's why we have a height disadvantage, is because of our production values. They're my, so good. Uh, my bed is covered in all my things. And all no, my no, dude, don't some exaggerate. Of them. There's like two things. Come on, Trevor. I, I have a Kit Kat from I, Germany. I didn't even mean to bring. I got some Ghost World T-shirts, some empty boxes, some boxers, some. I mics, think you might be the most organized some Disney Infinity figures. Yeah, 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 I dude, got I think so. I'm also losing my voice right now. As, a, as, as we, we go, which well, is no, we'll, we'll find okay, it. Okay, so we'll find so it. we're gonna start this. I, I think we're gonna let Gabe open it up. All right, these are ketchup mm-hmm. chips. I'm gonna read the ingredients for you so we know that they're they're legit. They're guaranteed fresh, by the way. I don't uh, care. They're specially selected potatoes for you, Gabe. That's the first ingredient. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, there's no actual like ketchup as an ingredient here. Okay. But there is 
Well, tomato, there's probably flavoring. Garlic, onion, things like that. So okay. I will pass these along to you. Okay, so I think, okay. I think, Gabe, you need to describe it to us. Like, first of all, open it and take a whiff. Yeah. I can't fucking smell. Okay. And I've told you this like four or five times today. I know, but I keep forgetting that you, uh, you're you not normal. And, and I'm sorry for cousin. You smell a lot like ketchup, by the way. Yes, they do. You guys don't want to smell. <sighs> stick your nose smell in your vision coming headphones. soon. Yeah. See, yeah. this will prove once and for all that I'm not scared okay. of and, ketchup. And it's just you have texture. to eat like like a yeah yeah yeah. Whole chip. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I'll eat, I'll eat, eat a tiny. They're all broken up, so I'll eat a few. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, you have to eat three. I'm really not even worried about this. I don't okay. care how it tastes. It's just the texture of the ketchup is so gross. Okay. I need. The, I'm gonna need the water. All right, so while you eat these, I'm gonna give you a vivid storytelling of oh look there's a whole chip is this okay that's good yeah okay yeah, so there while you eat that i want you to think about the smooth texture of ketchup don't, don't, eat it don't do that infiltrating your why, why are you doing this don't eat it all at once smooth, you're already juicy, putting me through this juicy ketchup oh, filling in all the gaps Yo, between your oh teeth. my god here take <laughs> these imagine ruby red <laughs> soft <laughs> i was about right. to reach for my head if i'm gonna take them off ketchup. <laughs> shut your mouth i'm not gonna do this take half your a bite tongue first can feel huh? the half a bite first no i'm gonna just do i'm gonna go i'm gonna go okay but shut go. up you gotta chew it at least seven like full the chews. Rub I, 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 I never just like chew like okay. seven times okay did the you not see me your mouth is covered okay here we go ladies and gentlemen it's coming in three i'm not liking the color though. two ketchup one shut up zachary i will freaking go 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 do it just do it in your mouth do it like Shia would. <laughs> oh my okay. god. Come on, keep you chewing. You feel it? Is it keep good? Keep chewing. That is fucking gross. Keep chewing. Wait, don't don't drink yet. Keep chewing. He, he's brave. We gotta, gotta give him a little ah, being brave. This tastes like doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess uh, we're not convinced him to eat ketchup. Gabe had a, his ba- a first... Oh my god. Why would anyone like that flavor? G- Gabe had know. his first bagel today. Yeah, I like I the bagel. Give us a bagel review right now. It's just, dude, it's bread. Eh, it's a little different. But <laughs> it's bread. Can you give us? Can you give us more of a? I want to get more of like a, a real sensual review. Like I want you to give me into the, the feelings and experiences. Of I I should have put jelly on it because he put jelly on his bagel. Yeah. Mine was just dry. Like, like petroleum jelly or like strawberry jelly. This fucking tastes like it was. Oh my berry. god. Blackbird black jelly. Blackberry. Oh, I, I thought like the kind where you like. I, I'm, and I'm sorry I'm cussing so much, but the after flavor is terrible. Is. Isn't that a plane? Black. No, the black, blackbird <laughs> is a. It's like. You know, they're like, ah, like the little, little things that they... Ch- the Blackbird is the X-Men's plane. No, the Black... The yeah, it's Blackbirds are, are, like, haven't you heard of, like, spy planes? Have those heard- planes that they send to do, like, UAVs? You know what a crow is? Yeah. Yeah. It's also a Blackbird. According to... Hold on, hold on. GhostRoboDictionary.com? So, no, this is according to Richard's Field Guide, 19, oh, really? 1971 edition. 71. Can 71. we talk about the chip for Very a second? Okay, yeah, give us more details. Okay, I really don't understand why anyone would like that flavor. Me neither. Let's move on to Wait, no, 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 but seriously, like... I don't know. That didn't even taste like tomato. It, it, was, it was just a stepping stone. Ketchup was just we, like super. No, I'm sweet. not doing ketchup, dude. I can't. I'm gonna, I can't. I'm gonna, this is gross. I'm gonna make it happen. Get like about two hundred fifty thousand in cash and Canadian I'm, I'm dollars. Sneaky. Have you ever seen me at, be sneaky? Have you ever seen me be sneaky? What you're too mean? sneaky. I didn't see it. it is, yeah. See. Yeah. Did you see it? No. See. <laughs> because you're so sneaky. All right. Let, been, let's let's move on. Let's it move has on. been a riot being with these guys in person. This is the first time that the three of us have all been together. They get to witness my weird eating habits. We get to witness Max's paranoia, Gabe's goofiness. It's been a great time. And now we're gonna bring you some actual game talk because we have had games. I think we should start off with Until Dawn. Yeah. At least for a little bit because yeah. that's been the big thing. Um, it has sort of caught fire. In a way fire. that I didn't think it w- would. Like it's it, fire. It started off as kind of like a simple title. It's supposed to be forty dollars. Um, like a choose your own adventure featuring Hayden Panettiere. Yeah, and the guy from Mr. Robot. And then all of a sudden, it's sixty dollars. It's swept, you know, the gaming space by kind of. by storm, kind of. And I think a large part due to YouTube once again. Yeah, yeah. Honest, honestly, I I, I did it. I did it. It was all game. Yeah. It is weird though, because we just checked Metacritic and the score has started to dip. Hasn't? Yeah. No, well, it's a seventy-nine. It's a dip. Which is, that's pretty solid well, for what it is. But it was is. an eighty-something for a while. Mm. What I love about Until Dawn is it's the perfect example, I think, of a game that doesn't succeed mechanically, uh, you know, anywhere near a hundred percent, but it still manages to maintain such a, a factor of fun. Well, mechanically, what? There's nothing wrong well, with no, it. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, from the, the like, if you boil down the components of the game, right? Like the storytelling, the characters what you're actually doing, the plausibility, like, none of that really, like, is, like, a 10 out of 10 for me. Well, but yeah. the, the, the unique vibe and kind of the the feel and flair they're going for is so unlike anything else, and it actually is really pretty. It, it is pretty. I'd, dude, I thought this was a $40 game. 
And it's it's not, it's beautiful. It runs on the Killzone Shadowfall engine, so it looks super great. The character models are actually pretty top tier. Yeah, except butts. Butts are ugly in this game. They're really squared. They really emphasize them. There's some scenes where you're walking down halls and you can't see above their like chest. It's yeah. just like butt shots. Yeah. Sh- sh- is- shout out! Shout out! Shout out to the towel that Hayden Penitieri was wearing when she got out of the the yeah. bathtub because it just wouldn't fall. She was running in it. She was doing all kinds of stuff. Maybe she's a little glue, like up in the armpit region. Maybe she yeah. has like a Velcro on it. Oh, maybe and Velcro on her body, like stitched in. Cut body body mods. Maybe she wraps it, and there's Velcro on the other part of the towel. But she was running through this house and not falling. Was she running through the six? Well, With only one of her woes, though. And yeah, it was a real woe, but we won't get into that. No. Um, the game is really creepy. You were telling me it's before. Not, it's, it's not scary. scary. I scream a lot. It's not scary Part at all. Part of the reason my voice is gone. And I, I like the vibe so much. Like I like, So do I. I like this cheesiness. I like that it knows what it is. And therefore, I feel like it doesn't bother me as much as if it was like, oh my god, the most monumental story of the decade. And yeah. now it's like, eh, like Emily... Okay, I want to. I want. I want. I wanted to ask this. Yeah. So, give me your two favorite characters and your okay, two least cool. favorite characters. Um, I really. I mean. All right. So let's start. You do your two favorite, then I'll do my two favorite. Okay. Then you do your two least, and I'll do my two least. Okay. Okay. Everybody liked Jessica, but that's I don't understand not why. I do. Okay. She's blonde and pretty. Yeah, that she is. But you don't like her. Not as a character. Oh. Just, just all right. My two favorites yeah. are the psychotic doctor, who. In the weird segments, don't spoil it, Gabe. I'm not. He, weird things happen where all of a sudden, like, they're talking to you and you have to answer these questions about what scares you and what bothers you most. I think is like, I don't even understand it. I love, I, okay, let me boil it down to one word, mystery. I love that this game focuses so much on mystery, and yeah. so few games do that and give you, like, that thriller, mystery, suspense vibe. Anyways, Dr. Hill and, uh, as a character, I mean, I think Sam is, like, the most believable. Yeah. I uh, see. My picks are based off their personality. Okay. Like, I want to hang out with these two, these two people. Please right? don't say Josh. No, no, no. It's not Josh. Good. Josh is definitely. I want to. I don't hate Josh. How many characters are there? Eight main kids. Eight, and okay. the one doctor that that. And they can all possibly die, die. right? Depending on how um, you control them. One of them has to die. Yes. Okay. We won't tell you who, but it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right so so, all right. I like Mike. I like. <sighs> Mike, I used to be Mike in high school. Did you? You were a complete. I was like, a complete dick. Dope too. Like no, I wouldn't do. What do you mean dope? Like dumb. No, was, like completely clueless. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look, <laughs> wait, I'm changing my mind. I wasn't Mike. No, I was Mike. Okay. Like, oh, okay. you were a complete <laughs> jerk. Yeah, I was a jerk. Now you're the most polite person we know. Yeah, I'm what, is that why? Maybe like the extremes, right? Like you're trying to work off your all He's your got karma. So much, yeah, yeah. so much karma. Yeah, that you're <laughs> <trying to build laughs> up. yeah I, I'm working it out. All right, I like Mike a lot. All right, and I. Sam, you gotta go with Sam because she's so lovely. She's lovely. <laughs> she's so lovely. Okay, so if you had to pick one of the girls to date in the game, okay, based Sa- solely on Is appearance, it four guys based four solely on appearance. Yes. Okay. Who would who would you pick? Toss up between Sam and, and Jessica. Okay. Is yours hands down, Jessica? Yeah. Who would you pick? Based I'm not play the game. No, just pick a name. Pick a name. You like oh, Jessica? you okay. have Ashley. You have Sam. Ashley. You have Jessica. Like Ashley, you have Emily. You like Ashley? I think Max. Would, honestly, Ashley be the best fit for Max. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just don't do Emily. I don't even know. Now let's talk about the. Two. Okay, my least favorite characters are Emily. Yeah. Hands down. Yeah, hands down. The and worst. Josh. No, Josh. Is I can't cool. stand Josh. Josh is cool. No, he's a complete. He's literally like, take her clothes off, score big. <laughs> he's the typical guy that starts and his having eyes sex are like, and then they die. Uh, he's got like those droopy eyes. I don't know how you can like Matt because he allows himself to be talked down by Emily. The the she's don't the worst. Like that, she's a yeah. But kid. no man should allow himself to be degraded in that manner. He's a sweet young boy. He's probably in one of his first relationships. Maybe he's just trying to learn trash. his way through trash. the world of women. He 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 needs he's to stop. Trash. Step. Yes. He doesn't value himself obviously because he's with Emily. But Emily is Emily's like, oh, carry my Mike bags. Was with Emily. Yeah, but Mike smartened up and he left. You know what? You know what this shows me, by the way. Two yeah. of the best games this year, surprise wise, involve like teenage drama, life is strange. Yeah. Until dawn, we need more uh, drama, like teen drama games. Teen drama yeah, there we go. Teen drama mystery games. We need a uh, what's that big popular show in the UK? Doctor like, Who. No, 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 reality show. I don't know. Like MTV style. Is it called Big Brother, I think? Yeah. What's, what's Game Big Brother doing next? Something like <laughs> what's Game Brother? <laughs> I think it's called Big Brother. Right. Something like that. That will be the next big, Unt- big Until game. Dawn is cool. Six, ho- six hours for, you know. Yeah, I'm surprised by that, eh? I'm shocked that nobody's talking about value with I, this I game. I really like the flow of it, and I think it's one of the only games I may replay just to try to go for Cause a Because it, it is different. It, it, 
There's How a lot. How endings are there? Does it feel like your decisions and everything actually like? I haven't beat it. So I I, I've only on beat that. it once, so I can't speak on more okay. than one ending. Well, my concern is like, and I don't know because I haven't beaten it or read, but like, okay, so there's eight possible characters, so there's a bunch of permutations of who could be there. But is it literally just like same scene with a different cast, same scene with a different cast, or is it literally like in this? No, way, no okay. So it's the same scenes. I, okay. Fun fact: that my second playthrough, I let I killed Emily on purpose. I could have saved her by pressing square. Nope, you're falling and you're gonna die. I tried to kill Mike a couple times just by not doing the quick time events and it didn't work. He's kept pulling dude, dude, his back. Dude, Mike is awesome. I don't like Mike. His hand, the, what, the thing that happens to his hand with with the yeah, that's they cool. trying to like redeem him because he's so dumb. He's a nice guy. All right. Well, until the honest surprise the heck out of me, and honestly, it's like rising up in my game leader rankings. Is it is it rising really? like two meter? How far up? Two? How far? I mean, like we're talking. Batman like, is still not yeah, one. but we're talking like okay. Evolve, Batman, Splatoon. Until Dawn are like in the same, so top five already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until Dawn's cool, man. Okay. It's very it's, cool. It, I love just like that's very different. I like okay. that they're trying something different, and um, yeah. And uh, people, you should note that Zach finally didn't hate on a PlayStation exclusive. That's true. There you go. He's pointing out that it is a good thing one. So yeah. There you go. Yeah, you can't see right now. Me and Gabe are in, in, engaged in a real, real fun game of footsie right now. Yeah, you know, you, you guys, it, it's a little too PG thirteen down here. You don't want to see this. Yeah. Right. Max, what are you, yes. what are you up to lately? Street Fighter. Street Fighter. There you go. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we got we, to play uh, Super Street Fighter. That was cool. No, it's just Street Fighter V. It's not Super? Nope. I thought it was Not yet. That's, that's, no, the, no, Capcom that's the next one. Super no, they said Ultra it will never HD. be Super. Okay. It they said this is the average. only Street Fighter V they will ever put out. Just okay. sort of kind of average Street Did Fighter Did they five. say at the end, in this year? No, no. Like they're, They acknowledge that like they do that too much. So they're, Street okay. Fighter V, um, all that extra stuff that they usually do for the Super Turbo okay. Editions, they're all free from now on. It's like no, it's going to be charged oh, and unlockable in-game. So yeah, you yeah. can do it either way. It will oh, be unlockable in-game. That's cool. Or you can also buy it. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's fun. I'm just awful at fighting games. So obviously still Gabe destroyed me in the span of like... I don't even know. It was the fastest match. Like, we were waiting for all the other matches for a while, but when we played, he just absolutely yeah. wrecked fun, me. Fun fact, I played five more times. I went four and one. I lost once to a very nice gentleman. He shook my hand. He said, good game. Are you going to play again? Because he wanted to get in line with me right again, like right away. I said, oh, no. like this is like, a, like a, a little bit of a friendship meeting. Yeah, yeah. He wow. wanted to play again because I was a formidable opponent. Oh. Did you keep playing as uh, Ken the whole time? No, I, I played as Ken against you and two other matches. Um, I tried Birdie, and then the other one was uh, Ryu. I should have played that you, big guy, Birdie. Yeah. Why didn't any of you play Rainbow? Who's Rainbow? Rainbow wasn't. Our Mika isn't in the there. Oh, I didn't know that you called her Rainbow. That's her name, Rainbow Mika. I didn't know that. Oh, it is. Yeah, the the half naked girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the a lot one of you said there were the three D glasses, but sure she's a Birdie girl. was amazing. What is he? He's the guy with a big guy. gut. Uh, he, he, he looks on. hilarious. He looks not, amazing. Not a lot of Whole Foods for that man. No, probably not. We went to Whole Foods, by the we way. We did. Yeah. First time experience. Massive. It is massive. That was no, no, that was a that small one. That one is massive. That's a small one? There's bigger ones than the that? The one in LA that I took gave to is way bigger. Wait, wow. no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Is it? Oh, yes. Because this one's, like, I, deeper. Like, I thought it was over, and then there's more. Listen, when and you, and you think organic, it's over, and it's more. When you eat organic, you go real deep. You go real deep. It's real deep. It, it, it's a pen. deep experience. Right. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it penetrates your mind okay. and your health. Okay. Max, you want to Now, the one thing is they do have, like, things that are you can find at other stores. True. But they just go, like, well, it's $3 more. So mm -hmm. It's on yeah. our shelves. <laughs> they, they had, like, legit just whiskey. Like, I, I saw Maker's Mark. Like, uh -huh. there's nothing organic about this. It's like, we, didn't, we didn't get any of that. No, no, no. We didn't have any of it, but it was But, there. like, I pointed out to you in the store, I'm pretty sure alcohol is just organic or whatever. Like, I don't know. Can you... Like, it's, it's just evil at every store, basically. Sure. It's yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> Ma Max, Max, let's talk about the, the small games that we played just real quick so okay. we can get them out of the way. We played... Ch let's not even... We Do you want to mention We Are Chicago? We, okay, we could just mention called? We Are we Chicago. Are Chicago. It has a are you saying Chick... No, Chicago. 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 No, you keep saying Chicago. Well... Chicago. There Gabe, you go. Thanks, Gabe. Okay. Gabe, what did you say? What is it called? What's the slang for it? Chirac. Chirac. It takes place in Chirac, south side of Chicago. Yeah. Right? Um, you play as the premise is really cool. Some dude, and you you know it's a basically Telltale game. It's not Telltale. It's super low budget, super indie, but that's the style. You well, gotta you gotta make decisions. Played the alpha. Yeah, so. yeah. But they're saying it's coming out early. So like, it's gonna it's gonna like be beautiful by the time it comes out. No, I don't know. I mean, it no. had some like what we told you it had some technical issues, right. but like where the forks would float into their noses and <laughs> when they're eating pasta. <laughs> but other than that. 
Like it's so what's, really what's interesting. The okay, you're in Southside Chicago, and mm. you you're living like okay. you're you're yeah, living you're, life. So, so like gangs, drive you know, bys. yeah, sh- uh, gunshots. You're a kid though, like okay. yeah, you're you're, you're a your teenager. Last year of high school, yeah. you're about to go into college, and it starts in like a kitchen with your mom, your sister, and a friend. Yeah, and then you hear a gunshot outside while you're having dinner. So then you gotta, you know, your sister. She, she she's a little sister. She just heard the gunshot, so you gotta tell her no. Like everything's okay. Or you can be like. No, like oh this you know this uh, stuff you know stuff is messed up it's a mature game and i hope this is pe- a pc right yeah 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 okay. yeah they said um early 2016 release for pc and then after that she said like they were, they were like we want to do console but we're not sure when yeah the uh, one the one so thing i want to mention that it's like super admirable they said like part of the profits are going to to um yeah 50 percent. oh wow that's nice but i, I like i don't want to be a jerk but hopefully it makes profit <laughs> like, yeah. honest, like honestly um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I like the premise. I also like they did a lot of cool stuff. Like, um, like when you're setting up the table for dinner, like they have you actually go like pick up plates and set them down. So like you do all these like tiny little things that you typically wouldn't do in a game. Mm-hmm. I just wonder like if that will get annoying over time. Yeah, like, the, you know what I mean, if they do that too often in the latter parts of the game, mm-hmm. it might become frustrating. But the premise is the only thing interesting about it because it doesn't look great. It, I mean, it controls. It doesn't look bad either. It kind of looks a little bit like GTA, doesn't it? Like the nah, character model? Maybe like GTA 4, dude. Sure, but like the art style. Yeah, style yeah, yeah, sure, sure. In- similar, which was interesting. All right, so then uh, we also played, uh, this was probably the one that we enjoyed the most, yeah. right? Brawlhalla? Tra- no, well, Transformers, I thought you were going Oh, with. Transformers Devastation. Okay, yeah. We got to play that at not an actual Transformers booth, which but was we played surprising because we just walked by and I, I saw Optimus. I was like, what is that? There's a Transformers game. And then you asked him, like, is that the Platinum game? And I think nobody realized that it is the Platinum game that you get to play there. So we played that for a while. That game plays super duper well. Yeah. So if anybody's concerned, like, my concerns with Scalebound went away because, again, all yeah, the I, Platinum games. And and you're, you're a Transformer in this. What? Yeah, you control Transformer. And it doesn't and this feel is like bulky. The, it's like no, 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 no. It's, it's, it it's awesome. It's weird how, they, it's awesome. how well they did it. Like... Um, they did that thing where, like, what was that called? The witch uh, uh, the, the, the uh, witch time. Yeah, witch time witch from time, Bayonetta. Where, like, if you dodge at the right time and stuff, uh, time you slow down. down and you have time to pull off a combo and stuff. So it's pretty sweet. And uh, it's all based on the old Transformers. Are we though. boring you, Trevor? So you're not. Trevor's <laughs> plugging his nose over there. Not sure that's going to keep out this fun. <laughs> but, uh... No, but, his nose. no, but I, I want to say about that bullet, uh, the the witch time thing. Like they use it for puzzles, cause there's these oh, doors, yeah. that, there's these doors that you gotta like hit like uh, a few times for them to break down. Wow, well, that sounds real. Puzzling. No, wait, wait. No, 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 no. But okay. then after that, you encounter another one of these doors. But now there's like blades coming down like constantly. Like, so you gotta dodge arms. at the last, at, like the, at the last moment to like hit the door fast so that the blades don't hit you. It's really good, and the boss fight at the end was. Lo- or I don't, I didn't get to play it because I passed the controller to him, so he could try it. But it looked really, really cool because you get to fight Devastator, yeah, mm. which is epic. He's giant, and you got like Grimlock in the game. Bumblebee is already confirmed. Optimus, yeah. and it's a budget and then title. I think, no, what? No, no, this is a full release. No, 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 no. Are you it's, sure it's not forty? It is a full release. Well, I mean, we thought until now it was forty at some point. It is a full release. That's the one thing is like I wonder if it will be because of that, like how it will be received. But I hope that they do more different Transformers and hopefully you also get to play the Decepticon side yeah. so that maybe when you're done they're like okay now you get to play it from the bad guy's perspective because before today I could care less about this game like I had zero yeah it plays like really really well and, and co- it's the colorful transition from like robot to dinosaur vehicle, or vehicle whatever yeah. mode you're going into is like really really satisfying it takes a little bit of time to like finagle like properly understand the timing but once you get it it's really really satisfying yeah it's, it's a 50 dollar game oh 50 okay yeah october 6 50 bucks I, okay. yeah I, I think it's totally worth it based on what we played which again was limited but sure. it's fun sure. yeah and then we also played, as I was going to mention before, uh, Brawlhalla, which is essentially an indie version or take on Smash, where it's like, you know, one stage. They, because, like, when we were there, they were even discussing stuff. Like, they were going to f- a Final Destination-styled map. Mm-hmm. Like, I heard them, over like, talking about that. But the cool thing about it is that as you pick your characters, you get to customize them, like, from color, helmet that they're wearing. Cool. And then I even noticed, like, the weapon, uh, like, the actual pickups... 
the, like they'll change based on the character that you're playing. Yeah. Like we had the same weapon because we had the same character, but everybody else who would pick up the same item, like they pick up the sword item, oh, it they'd get a different, different. weapon based That's on their character, yeah. uh, which is really cool. But it, it just played well. Super indie though. Like it, like don't expect Smash level, but like you know, it's it doesn't have a Smash budget, but it's still it's still super fun to play. Is it more like 16 bit style or is it 3D D or? No, it's. I wasn't here. Yeah, it's a little bit closer to like melee in terms of like quality of like graphics so it's 3d look no because yeah. remember the one we played it's 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 rivals of aether or whatever models. that was like totally like pixel graphics remember yeah. well no this isn't pixels okay yeah, yeah. Uh, no i mean like in terms of like it doesn't look as good as like the new smash yeah mm -hmm. but it's it's still pretty good like i don't know i didn't feel like it was an did, indie did he game. say like it was going free to play really well um, yeah, it, it's in yeah, yeah, it is a free to play. Yeah. All right, he it's said, in closed beta he said now. It's closed beta right now, and we have codes, so we're gonna be playing soon. Yeah, Sweet. so we have, a and video. we might be able to even give away some codes because yeah. I think they give us a few spares. Yeah. So be on the lookout. We might post them in the comments. Zach will just drop the codes just suddenly. Well, yeah. bam, and they're yeah. there. Right, Zach? Or Zach, right? Right. Zach. Right, Zach. Zach. Right. Zach, wake I, up. I had a massive headache this morning, so I was not at PAX at all yeah. today, really. Um, but I did go to Microsoft. Um, I toured their campus, which is massive, 40,000 employees. Uh, Major Nelson gave me the tour, which was fun. Got to see some interesting stuff, including... Uh, did you meet every single employee? I, I shook all their hands. All of them? Yeah. Smack wow. some butts? How Me men butts. Some men butts. Uh, no, I, what? How much sanitizer did you go through? None. You just went I was one just, after another. Yeah, I, I really, so they were all there. They just line up. I want, yeah, I wanted to get the okay. Microsoft experience. So I was like, I need every handshake. And then, mm -hmm. get this. Okay. okay. They had so much fun with that that they asked me to go back down the line. With, to do it again. But this time. With the other hand. This time, Eskimo kisses. You ever done one of those, Max? Mm, do you want me to teach you? I'm worried because, you see, if I say no, I feel to like you're going you to push, push, kiss? You're gonna push it on to me. Sh okay, should I teach him an Eskimo kiss? Teach we're not doing it. Teach him. We're Max, not doing just, it. It doesn't We're involve not. your mouth at all. Oh, oh, oh. We're still... I don't know what it I is. I really want to show you. You guys could do it. No, 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 no. And then I'll be like, great, now I know what it no. is. No. You look, you already look like you're half our size. Gabe, Gabe experienced ketchup chips, okay? Yeah, there okay. you go. You have to experience Eskimo Kiss. What do you experience? I'm experiencing you. <laughs> <laughs> now I really don't want to do I think I think we could bring in uh, uh, Trevor. To Trevor, would you like to demo an Eskimo Kiss for us? Trevor, you should. If you know what an Eskimo kiss is, then you know Max is missing out. We'll pass on it for now. But while I was at Microsoft, beautiful campus, full service restaurant, there, lots of cool stuff. Um, I did play two indie games while I was there. Um, one was called Cluster Puck, which I really like. Was it a hockey game? It's hockey mixed with soccer. Ooh. Rocket League. That and it can be played one on one, two on two, three on three, four on four. The premise of this game is basically uh, very crazy maps with lots of obstacles, so spikes, bumpers, things like okay. that. You're a little puck, um, and you can you have a bad microphone to talk about this yeah. <laughs> so then you can go and grab the ball in the center um, and you can shoot it pass it or do a charge shot on defense you can dash into them and the maps are like psycho shape like one shape like an elephant one's just a long oh, you know, really? skinny thing okay. one has like a bunch of circles like so it's, it's kind of almost like mazes like labyrinth mixed with soccer and like the soccer part is like oh passing and whatever but the the hockey part is like you're sliding around like it's very Okay, so of, so do you have to like charge how far you shoot yourself or something like that, or um, no. or do you have like pretty good control? You have over decent yourself? control, but it, it's it's floaty enough that like oh you can bump people off the edge of the map and things okay. like that. Okay, um, but it was like a super great time and had a nice crowd around it. Um, it got way too hectic when it was like three and four on four, but at two on two. So it's Rocket League, but it, it's from like a top down perspective. Oh, okay. Is so it, secret ponchos? Is, and it's uh, Microsoft or is this like it's a? It's an ID at Xbox game. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. So, I mean, it's an indie game, but like it, it had like hundreds of maps, or maybe not hundreds, but it looked like tons of maps, dozens of maps. And I think it'll be like a really fun, like not obviously like, oh, a YouTube game or a big game, yeah. but I think it's something like local play. Like that's a great. Cool. Like like Rocky. Gang Beast. I saw Gang Beast today. Yeah. Gosh, it's awesome, dude. I mean, it's been the, out the, the, for a long the, time, but yeah. No, it hasn't. Gang Beast, yeah. It's been out? Mm -hmm. I, th I thought it was an early access. It just came out on. Yeah, it's, it's not out. PS it's not yeah. out. Isn't it it's it's on early access on PC. Right it's coming to PS4. Oh, okay. And the other game I played, which, God, I, I hate that I forget the name. I'm, I'm going to look it up as I talk about it. But it's this dungeon battling game, right? And the idea that they wanted to do was to take, like... It almost reminds me of, like, if Battleborn was done on, like, the Super Nintendo. Okay. Because what they wanted to take was the, like, hey, like, throw an RPG character into a dungeon. 
and come up with these crazy rounds. There's like deathmatch, uh, where it, up to four players, um, where they're fighting each other in this dungeon. Uh, there's different classes, and there's also like capture the flag. Um, there's um, some weird ones like a totem capture where you have to go stand by a, a totem to capture and score points. But the cool twist is that different classes, so like very Dungeons and Dragons style, like an archer, a mage, whatever. But in between the rounds, and you can play up to like first one of three points, four points. In between the rounds, you get to spend um, level up points and gold, depending on how well you did and gold that you collected. Individually or is it Individually, yeah. Okay. So that's a Battleborn element. Yeah, so you're like upgrading between the rounds, and there are creeps that will appear, and you can collect gold from yeah. them, and you get points from killing guys or completing the objective or based on if you win first, second, third, so fourth So is like place. a tower defense? Or I mean, like it's what are you protecting like between waves or rounds? It, this is totally com combative, like oh, okay. versus everybody. So like the, the rounds are like deathmatch. Like if we th uh, three of us are playing, like I'd be trying to kill you, capture the flag. Okay. I'm trying to capture your flag while you're trying to capture mine. You would fail. Okay. I would always win. Anyways, all the time, all the time, every time, without fail. Fail isn't in my vocabulary. Except the fail that you fail with. Feet don't fail me now. Okay. Never fail me now. Okay. I don't fail. Failure isn't in my vocabulary. Okay. Never say never. Okay. Kendrick said streets don't fail me now. They don't fail me either. Okay. Y yeah. Someone tried to summon Max a mixtape like twice today. Yeah. Okay. And he avoided it, which I is avoided. awesome. I dodged it this time. Yeah, dude, you're good. I like I it. I was keeping you my hands up. in my pockets or on my bag. I was I was too smart this year, you know. Yeah. Shout I out to everybody to trying to sell mixtapes at Epex. It's a rough and, uh, life. Well, no, I don't know. It's, it's a life. It's kind of an obnoxious life, to be honest. If they force it in your hands. Nah, that's a, uh, you well, it. they're hustling, so I they're think getting it done. Let me see if this is the game. Let's. We're gonna do a live viewing. Here we go. This is not it. Okay. That's not it. And hopefully right. that music is not copyright. <laughs> that wasn't it. Um, you don't know the name of the game. No, that's okay. It's something. Did what, we you else? what did you else? What you? What did you else? What else did you play? What it's you been else? a long day, guys. I'm what sorry. What you else do what did you today? Else you do I swing today? Right around Seattle. I'm gonna tell you about the comments I got. So some people just stared. One guy said, "Show me your tricks, bro." I said. I don't and he said, that's some bull. Yeah. Okay. And more then he walked away and said, I love you anyways. Yeah, so which is good. Got to get the love. Yeah. Um. One lady said, what a worthless waste. Yeah, that, that was Max dressed up as a lady. Dressed up as a really okay. woman. Uh, like Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you oh love, yeah. You we, love Scooby-Doo. Yeah, we'll talk about we'll that. We'll talk about that right now. You're a Scooby-Doo child. Like, did you watch Allow You're Little? Yeah. Well, do you play the piano too? Max, you sort of remind me of Scrappy-Doo. Okay. Mm. Um. The other thing about this was that Someone said you're controlling through your mind, and then I wiped controlling out. Controlling what? The, the board. Oh, way. okay. I'm like, <laughs> you transition into Scooby Doo. I'm like, I'm said, controlling Scooby Doo. With someone my mind. said like, like, uh, they're like, they're 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 like. <laughs> yes. Any mm. minute now, he's Come gonna on. get it out, guys. They said. Uh, okay. Those <laughs> those are like six hundred dollars, which it's not like six hundred. But I did wipe out in the middle of an intersection, which was a little oh. embarrassing. But then I was I was fine the rest of the time, and I wrote I literally rode it from their hotel all the way back to my hotel, into the hotel, into the elevator, yeah. out the elevator, in yeah. my room. Yeah. I seriously felt like achievement unlocked above my head. Yeah. And then like I it was, now see see that that's how you know where his alliance is. Is it wasn't trophy unlocked? <laughs> it, like <laughs> not to be fair, it was like what like less than a minute. Away? No. No, 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 it's no, no. Good five minutes. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a five minutes. Yeah, that's a lot. How how slow does the swagway go? He was going uphill, dude. Uh, uphill, uphill battle. You ever, you ever <laughs> had one of those in your life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ever struggled, I, I just Max? Imagine, of course. I just imagine you trying to glide like a little bit, and then you just glide back down. No. Is that what he, he said? Trevor happen? had to push him at Trevor one point. Gave me a little boost. Really? Yeah, a little bit of boost. How are you doing, the Trevor? Whole time? The whole way was he just pushing? No, just I once. like that. Oh, okay. I see. Well, that's not bad. Um, yeah. I could tell you. About the we, wedding we witnessed, but let's get to wait, the Lego. Like, thing Lego first. Dimensions, yeah. super quick. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I finally got to actually play it. You guys played it before. Yeah. The one thing I was a little worried at first, but then we figured out that it's probably just like the way they set up the actual console, is that for some reason the character models look like pixelated. Like they either had it set to like 720p or maybe 480p or something because it didn't look very good, but the cutscenes looked good, so yeah. that that was hopeful. And uh, the thing that I enjoyed the most is uh, that stuff with the portal. Like, they did some really cool things with the puzzles. And then also Gabe reassured me because he said that when you guys played the portal level, it was way different. Like, yeah. The puzzles. So, at least you know that you're going to get different levels. Now, we got to play the Doctor Who level, which was revealed here for which the first new. time. Which is Neither one of us are huge into Doctor Who. Um, yeah. But they showed the... Um, 
uh, they also showed us the turret for the first time yeah. in person, so that was cool from uh, Portal. And so those uh, figures are cool, man. I just love that again. Like the game, it's like it's like a giant love letter to each and every one of those franchises. Like each level is like put together with love, and like even like their hearts. When you look at their life bars, specifically on which character you're using, it's made to like fit that character. Remember, like yeah. you told us, Shell has the uh, cubes. The cubes. And then uh, Doctor Who had, like, the double hearts, because apparently he has two hearts because he's an alien. Um, and then who else did we play as? Batman had, like, different design. Like, all of them were individually different uh, designs. And uh, they still kept the whole idea of, like, certain characters have certain specialties. So you kind of have to switch around uh, through the characters. But what, what is the sorcery? It was really, really cool. Dungeon League is what the game is called. And it's on Steam right now. Okay, here, I'll, really take, I'll take that. I'll take that. No, it's okay. How many do you get? One. Oh. Uh, but they were really nice. Wait, were, were they at, at the Microsoft thing, or was they it the, the show Microsoft floor? Thing. They're not at the show floor. I'm going to find them. Okay. There they also go. made Screensheet, which is their most popular game. Wait. Which a lot of people play. Is there a code for that? Yes. Oh. And so there you go. Anyway, so it's called Dungeon League. Okay. Like Rocket League. Yeah. So that mean, anything with League in it, I'm going to be amazing at. What about League of Legends? Except League what of Legends. What about League. our Fantasy Football League? That is, yeah, the yeah. draft is tomorrow. It's I'm getting going hyped. Live. Yeah. Max is going to be hyped. I think I'm going to win. Max wants to draft Richard Sherman first. <laughs> <laughs> he Listen, said he wanted Troy Polamalu for some reason. I can't. <laughs> hey, Max. Because those are the only names I know. Max. Well, and Tom Brady. First of all, Troy's not playing anymore. I got he quit? He retired. Yeah. Oh. I got a question for you. Okay. All right, so... How about you throw two football players and I'll predict which one is better. Okay. Ooh, oh, oh, all right. Let's each come up with one. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm going to give him three... Quarterbacks, okay. and you give him three okay. running backs. Okay. All right, and, and you're gonna rank them. For and, us. and no, and no, okay. giving him obvious names. like we can't, yeah. we we can't say I can't say Aaron Rodgers just okay. because he hears that I praise okay. him all the time. All right. So, cool. all right. I don't know who that is. Okay. okay. You go first. All right. All right. So I'm gonna give you three quarterbacks. All right. Okay. All right. I'm gonna give you Russell Wilson. Okay. I'm gonna give you Ben Roethlisberger, and I'm gonna give you Colin Kaepernick. Right. Out okay. of out of those, which one would you pick? The last guy. No. Okay. He's <laughs> the, the one you choice. don't want. He's the worst. He is the worst. I meant to say the first guy. Sure. Okay. The okay. second guy would have been the correct choice, but the but first why did one I hear that name, Kaepernick. Wasn't he in the Super Bowl last year? A couple, mm-hmm. of years, a couple years ago. Yeah. yeah. So what happened? He's bad now. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. Oh. All right. So three running backs. You ready? Okay. So uh, so already bad decision, but yeah. Okay. okay so Go. I'm gonna give you um, Jamal Charles. What's a running back? Is that the person that runs the ball? Like yes. gets the ball when they throw no, it? No. Down? No. No. It's a receiver. It to them and they oh. Go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give you Jamal Charles. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna give you um, Eddie Lacy. Okay. And I'm gonna give you um, Arian Foster. All right. You see, I I want to say Jamal. What was his name? Charles. Charles. Are you because you said that one fast. Okay. And then the other ones you, you like stumbled for a while. Okay. You were trying okay. to like come up with probably worse players or something. All right. Okay. But then you, the last guy you said pretty fast as well, Eddie Foster. Arian Foster. Arian Foster. Arian. Arian. Eddie Lacy is the other one. Arian. All right, make make a pick real quick. Jamal or Arian? I'm gonna go with Jamal. I'm sticking. Okay, All right, that's a good pick. It's not bad. You it's see not, that? It's not the correct. You choice. wanted Eddie Lacy. What do you mean? You wanted Eddie Lacy. He's Why? better. He's better. How? Bar- marginally. Oh, consistently. Yes. Okay, yeah. Well, cons- this year here. Jamal is going to be better. Okay, he might be. He might. You watch. This. Yeah, they're, they're, want, they're, they're both top five. You don't want Arian Foster. He's severely injured his groin. Yeah, he's not playing oh, yeah. for a while. Yeah. What happened? I Got hurt. Know. Did they run into him or? I don't, don't think so. Oh, just like a training. I don't know. Is he drinking too much water? I think he was doing too much stretching or something. Oh, okay. I actually, I don't really. know. I don't know, know how you can injure your groin from too much stretching. <laughs> if you're Jordy Nelson, you could get injured just catching a ball. Yeah, he just landed and was like, "I'm done. <laughs> it's over." Wow. No contact. He tore his ACL. That is awful. Um. Knees are weak. I want to talk about already. the most interesting thing that happened to us. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti over that <laughs> There's vomit on his sweat already. He's nervous. <laughs> but on the service of the bomb, uh, I'm ready. You drop bombs. You're going like to get us a copyright strike. You sound too much like him. Well, are you in so Are you in He opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. He's choking now. Everybody's choking now. Zachary. Clocks run out, time's up, overblows. <laughs> Back to reality. You can't. Oh, that goes gravity. Oh, oh, he's so mad. We promised him a podcast, not a concert. But he won't give up that easily. Nope. Why did I do that? 
<laughs> Why did I do that? It's like I I, I threw a, a it was like such a softball. Yeah, yeah I can go for it. Yeah. All right, game. That moment of the week is happening right now. Okay, okay what is it? Was go. it this? I, no, that was not it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dude, dude, thug moment of the week is tomorrow. When you're wearing that, I just want to know. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. The question of the day, thug moment of the week. Yeah. Okay. Still. All right. So I have a pair of Yeezys now, which I'm taking home with me. Which you're not taking home with. Are you. those the black shoes? Those yeah. are the black shoes. Okay. But my question for you, that I'm I'm feeling a little nervous about. All right. To the average human, the Yeezys look like fifteen dollars shoes. Sure. And to me, they mean a lot. They just should. So mean. how do I how do I let people know that these shoes are really rare? The thing is, the people that know, they know. Okay, but right? what about all the other people that don't know? <laughs> they don't worry about I them. Think, I think what you should do is, you should get, like, you know how you're wearing shorts? Maybe. I mean, well, you 90% of the time you do. 90%? Well, I don't know. Let's say whatever percent. If some you want, percent. you want to come live with me and do a documentary on my you could you, you could just write clothing? you could just write rare okay and put an arrow, arrow. facing oh. down to matter of fact shoes. let's get a tattoo okay. do it okay. in a tattoo and have it like on okay. each one of your shorts yeah because if you put it on jeans it'll look a little weird yes you know yeah yes because it'll blend in too much or else you'd have to like sh- like stitch it in I want to put you on the spot <clears throat> on the spotlight yeah so okay Gabe and me we're basically brothers so he's out okay but Max. This is the first time we've seriously hung out. And so I want you to take... Seriously hung out. Seriously, seriously bro. Seriously. seriously. No. I want you to take 20 to 30 seconds to describe your experience of me to the audience. No holds barred. You can say negative things. I won't hate you. Okay. You're really short, so I don't have any, like, <laughs> issues. <laughs> issues. Well, now I'm not going to hold back. So, yeah. So just, I want you to just tell me what it's like to hang what out with like, me. So, so this is the Ghost Robo Minute now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is... So, well, right away, you could probably tell that if somebody wants to have a segment about, hmm, please tell the audience how wonderful I am. No, he didn't say that. He said you could be negative. I know, but still, like, we didn't mention, like, hey, Gabe, why don't we do a segment where you tell everyone how you feel about me? But I mean, that's coming next no. week. You yeah, save some stuff for 26. That's yeah. true. And then 27, I'll, yeah. we'll do an impression the other way around as well. Yeah. It, it's cool. Uh, but again, I feel like even though, like, we have never hung out in, like, person... A lot of what we, like, the way we hang out in person, we hang out in between recordings. That's yeah, true. yeah, yeah. Like, essentially, the last time we played, like, Rocket League for eight hours or whatever it was, <laughs> yeah. it was what we did yesterday. Y- yes, Literally. Okay. We played yesterday. Rocket League. Back in the, the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> what? How the Bronx? It wasn't Bronx. You got a New York accent. Really? Yesterday? Yesterday? Yesterday. That's how I say Are you it? from yesterday. Boston? Yes, yeah, that's probably more like yesterday. Boston. Speaking of Boston... What, what's up with Boston? I'm going to tell you about a panel I went to today. So I brought these boys, these fine boys. Oh, I forgot this happened. To my Gearbox the wedding. panel. Why do, why do you say Boston? I don't know, dude. I say Boston because my PR guy from 2K is from Boston. Oh, okay. Bless him. Bless him. I was him. confused. I was like, what? Oh, and, what, uh, what do you shout out to Scott for always being awesome. And we got to uh, we got to the, the Gearbox panel, and we, yeah. really, we were expecting news, announcements, headlines. Well, because to be fair, that's what they said. Yeah. Because they tweeted, like, expect exciting announcements. The wedding was exciting. So basically yeah. the panel went like That's this. True. Let's talk about the Borderlands movie a little bit. Let's talk about Battleborn a little Let, bit. Let's get the embarrassing thing out of the way super quick because I want to just glide over it. I was asleep for a good portion of it. Okay. Gabe was asleep and he was doing, like, a very, like, you remind me of Big Bird, honestly. Yeah, That's I how did. Big yeah, yeah, I did. I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm very <laughs> just, just chilling And neck. it was the worst because he was sitting next to me. Michael McGuire. We got, we got, like, really, really good, for almost front row seats. Yes. And... I swear that there were three or four times that yeah. there were people who were talking and they looked straight at us yeah. and they did this like double take like, wow, really? Like he's asleep? <laughs> because he was like fully like... <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm not even... Thing, you know, like in the cartoons where like when your head falls, you yeah. like wake up again? Like that's what he was and doing. And like, look over and be like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, half of this isn't true. <laughs> no, that's no, not true. So the so, head drop is true. Yeah, the so, head drop. Yeah. So Brandy Pitcher did a magic trick for us. It was pretty elaborate. It's pretty crazy. I really like that. Part. It was more than one magic trick. It no, was, it was one his, really I mean, long he did, magic he did, trick. He did some like cheesy ones, but then he did yeah. a real magic trick. Yeah. yeah. I, I, the card trick. Yeah. Was, it was a it was an elaborate card trick. It involved multiple people, multiple props, multiple like he stood in different places. I thought it took a little too long for the selection process. Like yeah. he got that a little out of hand. Yeah. Yeah. Like he was like, well, "No, you pick a person. Yeah. No, you pick a person." You pick well, a number. Get, you pick a number. Here's my suspicion. I think while he did that, he was messing like, with something. Yeah, I think that's where the whole shenanigans no, 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 no. happened. He put the card in the. It was in the book when he walked up to her and closed the book. Remember how it shot like weird? 
When did? But he didn't have the card. Yeah, he didn't have the card with him. No, no, no. The second time when he walked up to her, after that, when the card got signed, he walked up to her to that. Okay, I was paying attention to that. And he he opened the book again then. Yeah. Oh, this was a card trick involving. Yeah, but on that specific page, he opened. Like I don't. He opened page forty. It wasn't. He opened it. Maybe, yeah, I guess. Look, look, look. Look, just look like, don't pretend like yeah. you know Randy's secrets because you don't. This I dude, don't. But I was looking all the time at, like, you know, in card tricks, like, you do that stuff, you know, where you you point hands. here, you point to this because you're trying to misdirect all attention right. to this particular but, area. But and none he did of that, a lot of that. None of that matters. But it was awesome. He did well. Let's put it Battleborn's a great game. Doesn't matter. Borderlands movie could be interesting. Doesn't matter. Ho- uh, hold on. Homeworld uh, home prequel? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Because no. Two people got married on stage. And uh, this wasn't like, hey, I'm going to propose to you like sometimes happens. This was like, hey, we're looking. It was the most awkward like thing Like they ever. were ordained. Yeah, and they were like choosing someone to ordain them. And they're like, well, we want someone with a, a success rate. They were so nervous. I felt bad for them. The, the, the girl handled it. She handled it better than I thought and then she they're would. Because like, th- they had some like comedian kind of guys up there like like emceeing the thing. And they're like, all right, now you're going to wrap your vows. And the guy got Wait, real nervous. Weren't those guys employees? Of- they were, but they were kind of oh, emceeing okay. the event. <laughs> okay. And then they read their vows and they were all game related like – We'll quest forever. You're my greatest piece of loot. Yeah, right? yeah. And it was really, really uh, It was super coordinated. And it was so cheesy. And they said, like, and most importantly, that we'll game together until the end of time. <laughs> Which rubbed me the wrong way. Ma- Max put it best. He said, you know, obviously it's a positive thing. Good for them. You know, yeah. two people got married. It's a, sure. great, it's a great thing. But the way they went about it, it it's a little silly. And, and, I mean, and maybe that's what their relationship is. That's, I mean, that's fine. That's very silly. Huh? Maybe they, what if they weren't even really getting married? They're just like... We love Borderlands. It'd be so they just cool. They lied to if all of us. Stage but they got ordained. That's like a legal thing. Because the person who ordained them was like, you have yeah, to you get like... It's verbal. They didn't like sign anything. Did they? There was 4,000 people she watching. She was holding a pen, remember? With like a piece of How paper. How do you feel about their kiss? Like if you had to rate their kiss, what do you I, think? I didn't pay enough attention. I was watching. I don't feel yeah. like I was a quality What, what do you rate enough. the kiss? You know, I'm, I'm a really good kisser. Are you? I don't know if you know this about me. Well, yeah, the, the hot tip thing. Yeah. I, I'm joking. You go. Okay. Am I? You, Am I? I don't know. You wouldn't Eskimo kiss me even, so you don't even know. <laughs> so I don't even know your Eskimo level. Do you know what Eskimo brothers are? Over 9,000? Under 9,000? My... Shout out listen, to Trevor over there. Listen. The, <laughs> the experience kissing me... Okay. You know how much... I feel really uncomfortable you're looking me like right in the eyes as you're saying all this. Like I'm starting to like feel like really you know weird, how you, you know how you, okay. You know how you feel about... About, yes. What? You know how you feel when you, you get feel? when you get real passionate about like Marvel okay. and different movies okay, or yeah. some things that you really like. Yeah, like when I was defending Avengers Age yeah. of Ultron. For like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> now Okay. The kissing experience than me okay. would make you forget about that. Wow. Before you could count to yeah. three. Anyhow. I think I'm gonna stick with Avengers. But man, that wedding on. though. It was it was psycho. The kiss was okay. I thought Let's describe more it detail. Still, like, the, the, the thing is, though, like, w- like what you said, like we brushed over it. Like it's still cool because, like, if they're yeah, happy, like a that's line the of most important thing. Behind them. Dozens of cosplayers, like, which was very awkward. Super professional. Yes, yeah, cosplay. Very good cosplay. Um, the only thing is that it was just a, a very like unorganized. It, the whole that's thing the was thing. unorganized. Yeah. Um, was it? Was and it? And even that was because, it woke me because up because they had like ten or twelve people who they could pick yeah, to so ordain them. I guess like it was a good. The thing I like most, it's like a good memory to have. Like when when we saw those, yeah. two, you hear about weird things like that. We in like went, paper. And like we went to a battle board yeah. panel and we saw two people get yeah, and they ordained. Like, they liked it so much, and then they're like, "All right, let's make some church music as they go off stage." <laughs> Yeah, which was they they wanted all four thousand people to sign the guest list. Yeah, they're like sign our guest book, please. You're all part of this, and the guy was like, please. Yeah, no. Man, when I get married, it's gonna be me, Drake, Taylor Taylor Swift, and my wife, and Gabe, and Gabe. Yeah, and everybody I know. Okay. They're gonna come from all seven seas. There you go. All. Okay. Are you gonna come? Are you gonna do? Oh, I was about to ask a question. Should I come? Yeah, sure. Okay. Is the person that like you're going to kick... One, you know, I'll be like that cool guest you know, who walks in. Yeah. Everybody's like, who's that? Who's that short guy? Blitzwinger is sure. here. <laughs> yeah. I'm not you that. Can be, you can be the, ra- the ring bearer. Yeah. Those are usually kids, so you fit right in. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You got, you got it. You're, you're really taking Little this chair. Li- taking this chair thing way yeah, that's too That's what it's time for. What time is it for? The lightning, lightning round. round. Oh, we have a lightning <laughs> round. <laughs> Trevor, Trevor. You should, Cue the get, lightning you should actually get some sound effects. No? <laughs> <laughs> I think you can like buy sound effect noises for like forty cents. All right, so this is a pretty good one. Okay. All right, so we got a couple. You guys are doing a great job. If you want to send in your emails, your uh, lightning rounds, your questions, your relationship advice, your comments about if you're a good kisser. 
Can't stop asking at gmail.com. That's where you'll find all of us. We all can read them. I'm the only one that does, but you could if you want. I'm reading them now. I see it. This one's from Tristan. It's an actual email, guys. So and he says, I have a good lady around for you guys. Um, okay. Books or movies? We'll, we'll, be, the, movies. we'll, we'll, we'll be the judge, we'll be the judge of that, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my like, God. Like, this is, there's so many books. I love your shaved face. And it there makes is. you feel so smooth when I touch it. Which you don't not do. I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Uh, now I'm pretty sure it doesn't say like brackets read like uh, <laughs> like those girls that walk behind. Oh my god, move! I'm passing. I say it more polite. I say like, can you please move? Oh yeah. my god! I say it like, get out of the way! Oh my god! No, yeah, I say more. Yeah. Please she move, please. Like, yeah. Can you move a little bit? Zachary, uh, these damn no, questions. Come on. The first one that she she just said like, I'm coming through. Yeah, like, I like to say it like. Can you please move? I'm coming through. Excuse me. No, she was so rude. She's like, yeah. excuse me. And the other one said, no, I'm much nicer. Excuse me. All right. Yeah. Okay. Here the one go. that was me. Or movie. The one that was me. She had a wedgie, by the way. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> I didn't spot that, but I spotted after it. Until it dawn, Gabe has been really keeping a track, <laughs> keeping an eye on butts to know how to model them in the future. Yeah. Um. Anyhow, for the uh, sequel. Okay. Here we go. Books versus Books movies. movies. So we need to pick like one or which. Other? Okay. Oh, just to pick. Yeah, that's it. I thought you were going to name go. things no. that were like Harry Books Potter. Movies. Okay, uh, movies. 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 All right, this next one comes in from John Kuda Makalu. Okay. I hope I'm saying that, that right. Yeah. Dude, some, you, you, did, you did a good job. Salad or yogurt? Salad. 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 Um, Zelda or Mario? Zelda. Mario. Mario. Uh, ketchup. But Zelda, you, you mean like Zelda, not Link. Well, no, I'm, th- I'm talking the about the games. Oh, the game franchise? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a, still All Mario, right. but... We're going to skip the ketchup one. We're, we're going to start phasing out ketchup, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people have requested that, and I think it's time. Um, okay, this one comes in from Mason. Batman or Wolverine? Batman. 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 Uh, Green Arrow or Hawkeye? Green Arrow. Green Arrow. I don't know him, so Hawkeye. Uh, Joker or Loki? Joker. That's a, Joker, yeah. That's not a good one. Catwoman or Black Widow? Catwoman. Um, probably Black Widow nowadays, actually. She's more interesting of a character. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Is this what well, you deal with? No, 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 go back. Go back. That's what you deal with? Well, because the movies made her more interesting, no, and then now she gets more attention in the comics because of that, right? So they write like that. She's better. What is that? <laughs> is that email? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, but why somebody is it so wrote, long? <laughs> somebody wrote an email. Um, this one comes like in from uh, the Mutton Man. Long. He wants to know Rocket League or Splatoon? Ooh. Rocket League, hands down, wheels up. What about you, Zach? You go. That's a really tough one. I know. That's I a think tough Rocket one. League. I have more fun with my friends. If you want to say hello to some of my friends around the podcast right now, I'm. I like these guys. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're channeling well, Steve, we, bro. We really should never do a podcast when we're this tired. I just love it being it's live. Like, I can reach out and touch you. If I, I just feel like it. it's. I'm, you should I'm reach so out and touch him. Reach out. Tired. Touch him. I'm so tired. Ooh. How funny would it be if, like, as you reached, I was actually a hologram. <laughs> He's huh? still in Canada. Like that whole time. Like, we were worried about that for a second. We were yeah. like, what if Max just doesn't show up? <laughs> well, yeah, then I opened Twitter and there's like, at airport? What else did you tweet? Where are you at? Did you fly out <laughs> or something? No, like no, that? no. There was only three tweets, man. Yeah. yeah. And, and they were more and more like nervous. Like you were like, yeah. all right. First comment. This is our last lightning round more question. More. This one is from our friend, Canadian neighbor, Jordan. Oh, okay. what's up, Jordan? Uh, Wait, is this the guy that I thought was a girl? No, that's. Jordan Bell. Okay. And this is Jordan from Canada. I left you three. Remember, she lives in Texas with you. Oh, that she lives in Austin. I'm going to go visit her. I, I left you three boys. And, until and her dawn, boyfriend. I left you three boys. Is that okay? So I left you three boys. Oh, yeah. And until so, so. dawn lightning round. If you'd like to try it out. <laughs> Stop being racist. Why are you turning into, like, a pirate Ima- half, like, a Ima- Zorro? <laughs> Imagine. Oh, okay. The three of you in Talking the to the mic, exactly. keep saying A also, because that's something that you guys always... Imagine A... The three of you in a bloody tiled room in your underwear. You must suffer in some way. One must lose his head. One must be drowned. And the survivor has to amputate his own leg. Which do you each choose? <laughs> what? Read it in a regular Someone voice. Someone has to lose their head? <laughs> Someone has to be... So, do you want to get your head chopped off? Do you want to be drowned? Or do you want to amputate your own well, leg? Well, I think there's only one that keeps you alive. Yeah, okay. So it's kind of a, right. an obvious I'll, I'll volunteer thing. to get my head chopped off so you guys can live. Okay. I'm staying alive. Yeah, right. you can chop my head off. All right. Would you rather? I'll, I'll say alive. Would you rather kill or be killed? This is a good one. I'd rather kill. How is that a good okay. question? I'd rather kill too. It's a hard. It's a hard knock life. When I mean, you're a murderer, got a lot of got a lot of guilt. <laughs> In the zombie apocalypse, maybe. But you gotta hold on to that guilt and strangle it 
and suck it down to the depths of your body, just like you down just, your toes. That just like you strangled the person that you killed. Right. Don't kill all anyone. Right. Now, which of the following are scariest? Let me quick fired and lightning round. So this is all until dawn themed yes. questions. Rats or okay. roaches? Rats. 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 But but only if they're like only if they're the kind of like the, the big. Team. Those are exactly until dawn. Yeah, by okay. the way. Clowns or scarecrows? Yeah, that's a question in until dawn. I know. Stop ruining the magic. I'm not even afraid. I'm not afraid of either. Um, that's not the answer. You can't just like cop out. What's scarecrow. clowns or scarecrows? I say clowns if they're the, if they're the really demented, scary clowns like you see in like a really what nasty do you shop. What do you pick? clowns? You clowns? Pick, I pick scarecrows. You pick scarecrows. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, I probably pick scarecrows as well because if you ever yeah, drive to like a big farm field where they have like you're those afraid movies. of like that. No, no, no. Sometimes they're like really, really creepy ones, yeah. and then there's also some movies like Jeepers. Creepers. Jeepers the Creepers clowns yeah. can move. And yeah. What if someone just pretended to be the a scarecrow and you get close humans. to them and they grab you? Gabe, okay, here's our goal for tomorrow. All right, let's do it. I want to be potted plants with you. Let's do it. You know how to do this? So what we do is we get a pot, okay, okay and we get our toes real dig deep into the dirt. Okay. Right? I'm, I'm just the toes. Just toes. Okay. Maybe now, by the way, you guys, just so you realize, since like they were making fun of my height, their toes are like yay long, so, so they do act like roots, essentially. Right. So we don't have to look like a plant, but we have to like... We have, Drop your laptop. We have laptop. to make the comments like a plant of me, like, okay, that lady has a bad hair day, Gabe. Yeah. And then you have to comment back, like, mm, okay, that's something like a treat would say. All right, all right, all right. All right. We're so gonna you're, you're gonna talk normal, <laughs> and he's gonna go. Mm. I'm like, I'm like the mother willow from Pocahontas. You ever yeah. seen her? Why won't he be just like Groot? Like, give him one word. Okay. Okay. That he can just like Catch say in, dif- <laughs> in different emotions. You know? Bad word. Like when he's angry, he'll be like, rendition as lick. Sure. Okay. Lick. There you go. All right, we have actual email. Um, oh, wait, there's more questions. We're just going to skip them. All, All right. right. Emails. But uh, thank you for the lightning rounds, by the way. Thanks for the lightning round, guys. We have a lot of emails. I'm just going to kind of go through some of these based on what I see. I'll be back to a regularly scheduled broadcast next week. But for now, uh, this one. Well, as regular as these get. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I haven't pre-scanned these like I normally do. So we're okay. just going to. This is, this is uncut. Oh, my. That's not. This is from Sam. And this is sent from a hotmail. Okay. This is relationship. He's got oh, okay, here a bunch we go. Of different names in here, but I'm gonna call him Sam. Dear guys, there's this girl in my class. I really like her a lot because she's different from most girls. Quiet and extremely nice. And very beautiful, which in most cases the girls would tend to think that's what it's all about, but she doesn't care. What? You gotta close iTunes. It's distracting me. Reading it like Shakespeare. <laughs> Every what time I that? try to talk to her. She has some issues. Every time I try to talk to her about it, she doesn't want to hear it. I'm 18. In my last year in school, I'm afraid that if I don't make my move, I may never see this girl again. Okay. What should I do? So it's super likely. She has some. She has some issues. He tries to talk. But to you see, I, her. I I find it interesting that he uses a few sentences to describe her positive features. Then he's like, she has some issues, but I don't know. Well, like, I, I what I does know that mean? To go into them. Oh, okay. But that's. Uh, I, well, it's in the email. She has sickle cell. Uh, okay. And so he tried to talk to her about is. it. Sickle cell anemia, I believe. I don't know what that is. It's a blood condition. Okay. Um, and anyways, so, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I misrepresented this guy's question. Okay. No. Rewind. <laughs> like, uh, life, life is strange. strange. <laughs> Maxwell Silverhammer. Do so, the voice. Do the voice real quick. Maxwell Silverhammer. <laughs> we have our very own Owen here. Ooh. Owen? What's his name? Uh, not Owen. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Great. This is high quality <laughs> podcast material right here. I know this. Say my name. Say my name. Hold on. What the hell is it? When the Jeremy. Game isn't around John. You. Josh. It's not no. Jim. Jake. No. Um, Give me the first letter of his name. Gilligan. Give me the first letter. Garfield. Le- I don't Graham. know. Give me the first letter of his name. I still only played w. episode one. W. 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 Warren. Warren. So Warren. Actually, what did I say? Owen. Yeah. Let's All get right, back to the question, stupid. which is that. Um, his mom is the one that every time he talks to, she doesn't want to hear about him going out with this girl. Every time he tries to go to a party or go to the movies with friends, she doesn't want to hear anything about it. And so he's having trouble. What should he do? Well, his mom? Yes. Okay, so he's not as afraid to ask her out and everything. No, but his mom is just giving him a big problem. Dude, just ignore well, it. Like, like, your mom doesn't, you don't got to tell your mom all these things. Just do what you're doing. Well, I don't know if that's the right way to go. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> dude? If you're so really, if you're really into someone and your mom just wants like like if she's just not interested, yeah, like, but there there might be a reason why. No, but yeah, like the mom isn't antagonistic towards it. She just like doesn't really care. Is the way that I heard it. Well, he says she's very strict. Doesn't let him go to parties or movies or anything. Oh well, you're, he's about to be 18, so you'll be able to do what you want. No, well, he is 18. Oh, you can already do what you want. Well, 
Step well, up. kind of. You see, I, I don't get that logic. Like where it's like you can do whatever you want, but you get to have your parents. Well, wait, is he not in college? No, he's at last year, high school, he's senior. Oh, okay. See, I'm. I, I just didn't and hear that, this. I thought worried. he was off in Gabe, college. What are you done. doing over there? I'm thinking about Gabe. Oh, is like the Owen Warren. Yeah. Owen Warren. <laughs> Warren. Owen. Owen. Yeah. Warren. In Pretty head, close. Like, in your head, Gabe, you're, you've like been reduced to like an eight-bit Gabe. Yeah, eight-bit. You're just like yeah. on, 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 on. Dude, you're cha- you're channeling him, dude. We saw that video. You're channeling what him. What was that? So I think the I think you should have a hard time with your mom, and try to explain to her that you are looking to do things in a normal way. She's probably looking out for you, even though it sounds like it's it's paranoia. But I, I think maybe maybe the best thing I, I don't think being the whole rebel and like sneaking out your window and like crawling down to your your Juliet as Romeo is the greatest idea. Well, plus usually that those kinds of relationships then grow yeah. to be like even more distant. Right. right. So I would just try to have a conversation with your mom and portray yourself as the mature, respectful person you yeah. are. Explain what you're looking to do. Like you did like in this freedom. email. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. What a bang. Uh, Andrew. 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 High school friend advice. Are you, are you channeling me over there? Well, you, you were Andrew. <laughs> that's not how I sound. Okay. I sound go. Andrew. <laughs> that's how I sound? <laughs> Max, what's going on? You sound like a what? Harry Potter character. Dude, you channel so many different characters during this. It's amazing. Okay, here oh, we go. I'm a man, many talents, Gabe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As you know. Well, Dude, we know. I love how I, I do that thing again where I slide, yeah. and I just realized now I literally, like, I'm like half your height. Dude, straighten like, up. Look, straighten up. I, I'm the same height. Max like, has no legs, as we've been <laughs> trying to regretfully <laughs> tell you this whole time. It's like, it's not good. Androids and hello, mysterious Max, catch up to find Gabe, follow Hayden Ghost, and Taylor. Whoa! Hope you're having a fantastic podcast, but yet again, we have another life in question. So I just went to high school as a freshman, and things have been rough. I'm a little bit of a shy guy. Okay. Do you know Mario? Yeah. But I'll be super friendly to people and try my best to make new friends. While making friends hasn't been working in my favor, I feel lonely at the school. And while I still have a couple friends, they become jerks. <laughs> I try my hardest to talk to others at the school, but they usually ignore me and talk to friends they already have. I've tried being really nice, friendly, go through the motions, yet people think I'm a weirdo. I already don't have much of a high self-esteem and really don't think anyone will want to be friends with me anyways. I don't want to be with people who do stupid things and shout profanity after every other word, but no one who is nice will talk to me. If you guys could offer any advice, I'd be super appreciative. I don't know what to do. I don't feel really awkward around people, and I don't think I'm mean. Maybe things will get better. Thank you guys so much. Did my brother write this in? Things always get better, by the way. Um, so, Gabe, maybe you should start. Yeah, this is, this is a tough one because... He's doing all the yeah, right yeah, things. Yeah, it's a tough situation. Gabe, you see, you said you were a jerk in school. I right? was a big so jerk. So this is like good motivation like for you to tell him, don't do that. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Okay. Like, <laughs> I like how you just put my business out there like that, though. Um, well, you put it out there. No, yeah, no. I don't, I don't really care. Jewelry. 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 No. Jewelry. So what should he do? Well, he's already doing what he needs to do. I think the, the the trick is just finding the right people, right, that that are going to respond in the way that they should. And he said he's a freshman in high school? Or, yes. Okay. Oh, dude, you're fine, honestly. Because I think everyone's sort of a jerk, like, in high school. Like, maybe not, like, a huge jerk, a la like Mike from, from Until Dawn, right? But... Everybody's going through a phase. You're in a okay. new in, you're in a new environment. You're, you're Everybody's like, jockeying for position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's like, I've never, like... Okay, that was, a, that was a bad example. It, it's like... Well, we didn't even hear it. That was inside your head, but okay. <laughs> Honestly, it's like going to prison. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, but, um, yeah, like, everybody's just maybe... Especially school just started. Like, especially uh, in Texas, where I live. Uh, yeah. My little brother just started school last week. Okay. And I actually worry about stuff like that. Like, okay. I wonder, like, how is like, he how doing? Will he be, like, yeah, like, how is he doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially because a lot of kids wouldn't share that with their parents. Yeah, yeah. My little brother talks embarrassing, about. right? Yeah, yeah. But you're already doing the right thing. I think it's just about finding the right people that are gonna yeah. respond in the. And you'll, I yeah. think you will find them. It might take a little while, but keep. Yeah, at look it. for people that maybe like have similar hobbies to you, whatever it is. Yeah. And then if you find that group, like stick to them and like. And Zach, Zach can attest. And it's best, honestly, it's really best to have, like, I've had both where I was, I knew a lot of people, yeah. but none to the point where, like, I could trust them 100%. I, I guarantee you it's way better to have, like, two or three friends, but all of them, like, loyal yeah. and trustworthy and stuff. I was so say, focus ma- on quality. Yeah, and Zach friends. can attest to this, and this really works. Dude, okay. tr- try sports. Because you, you're going to bond with the people. Like, yeah. generally in sports, like, yes, you're going to have one or two that are just, like, jerks. But a lot of people, like, even if, like, you're not, like, the most sporty person, like, they'll help you through it. Like, like 
even if you're having trouble, like you'll you'll get like a lot of positive yeah. reinforcement. And you so, can do different types of sports. Y- yeah, you yeah. You don't have to do like even the most like obvious ones like basketball and yeah, dude, football. golf people love yeah, yeah each other. Like, it's awesome. Um, also, band swimming. Is, band you is a thing. Swim team. Yeah, you could go tennis. You could go badminton. Yeah, the, a lot. Of do they play volleyball in America? Yeah, volleyball. Mostly females though. I like volleyball. Yeah, volleyball's fun. Yeah. And now uh, uh, Zach is gonna drop the biggest amount of knowledge. Here's Here he comes. Say, Here um, comes the great sage. If you want friends, like everyone does, right? If you want a friends. lot of friendships that you seem to be a responsible, mature, mature, a- above your age kind of guy, and Got so it. you're probably seeking a more deeper friendship, more of a mature friendship, mature. and a lot of those take time to form, right? <laughs> that bond is gonna be built over the course of weeks and months, yeah. not for. Few yeah. days, right? He clearly just started school, so I would give it time. I think going in with the expectation that you're going to find great friends right away, especially if you're someone who is more cerebral than than most in, in high school, especially the first week. Um, give it a little bit of time, and also remember that from a, a freshman standpoint, everyone is entering high school. They're all nervous. They're all like having you know a bunch of mixed emotions probably, and so people are putting on yeah. acts and fronts and things to try to fit in, try to be whatever, and and try to impress all the seniors. Right. So so give it time, and and you know. You can, you can make mental notes of like, oh, that guy's a super jerk, but but don't do what I did, which is very quickly categorize people of like instantly, you know, toss these people away. Yeah. If you away. if you would have met me in high school, you'd hate, you would yeah, hate me. So, so some people might do something stupid, but maybe that's based on the circumstance or the people that are around that doesn't necessarily disqualify them as a friend candidate. Yeah. So, so give people Because it's always going to take like events. Yeah. Like when you go through certain events where like that friendship will be tested, that's after that you can only decide... How good of a friend someone And you is. always have us. Email us. <laughs> well, blank. Indeed. There you go. Yeah. I'm um, uh, trying to look in, and find some gaming-related questions. Yeah. I think they're going to start coming a lot now that we are going to talk about Mad Max, Metal Gear, yeah. all that stuff, the wrap of Until Dawn next week. Um, yeah, we do need gaming-related questions too, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's that's good. So a lot of these are like school stuff, which is great. Um, this one is called... Uh, where is it? It's called... I got some beef with Zach. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Riley writes in. You guys went out to get like lunch? Yeah. Man. And he says, guys, I just want to address the fact that while I think Gabe and Max are level-headed, I feel like Zach is all over the place. <laughs> he loves Batman. Dark. No colors. Heavy story plot-based game. Yet hates on other games with those exact same things, yet because they seem to have a lot of hype and general love, he hates them. He hates Fallout, yet for looking like it's last gen and is hardly different from the previous title, yet can't shut up about Batman, which still looks the same, plays the same, except the stupid car, which I agree with Gabe is so lame and took away from what I like best. Yeah. Zach loves Nintendo and support them endlessly, no matter their dumb choices or bad ideas. For example, my beef with Nintendo is how the crap is it possible you like Mario, which has been the same game since the 70s, yet you rag on Destiny, Fallout, Skyrim, etc. for their same as lack of innovation. I could go on. I'm just saying, bro, you gotta respect other people's opinions. You make it sound like people don't see it your way, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, look, Riley. I okay. have a new beef with Zach. Here he doesn't finish reading my emails. Riley? <laughs> <laughs> P.S. Mario sucks. Well, I don't know about that. Okay, anyways. Riley, let me, let me break it down for you. Break it down. A couple, couple things I want to address here. One. Do it. I do not blindly love anything. There's plenty of Nintendo things. Except me. Here, except Gabe. Yeah. Plenty. Pla- and Taylor. Yeah. Plenty of Nintendo <laughs> things I don't like. They make some bad moves. <laughs> they, they have some terrible E3 showings. I don't like a lot that they do. You know, they have a, some lame lineup sometimes, some weird scheduling choices, some awkward, you know, ways that they roll out content or they handle online. I'm not all for that. But I need to set you straight, Riley. Mario, okay, this is the example I give, and people think I'm crazy. That's fine. I'm used to it. If you're going to say that every Mario game is the same, I'm going to say that GTA and NBA are the same because they're people games. Mario is the character that Nintendo uses to accomplish plenty of genres, from baseball to kart racing to platforming to party. None of the games are the same. It hasn't been the same since the 70s. If you look at Super Mario Bros. 1 on the NES, compare even to today's 3D Mario titles like Mario Galaxy 2 or even Super Mario Sunshine or Super Mario 3D World, the variety there is so massive. In comparison, the variety between Fallout 3 New Vegas and Fallout 4, or even Batman, Arkham Asylum, City, Night, and, and Origins, it's its not comparable. Second, I take issue with what you're saying, that Batman looks the same and plays the same, because it does, but what I want to remind you there, one of my biggest criteria for a winner of a game in my mind is sound mechanics and very fun and fluid hands-on-the-controller action. Batman nails that to a T, and therefore some of the similarities between the games and a lot of the repetition is palatable to me because it's not doing a boring combat system or awkward combat system like The Witcher. I'm not gliding through menus and having an incomprehensible story. I'm not sitting there looking at bad graphics. It's a very pretty game with very good technical prowess, and it's very fun 
moment to moment punching, driving I think is enjoyable in that game, flying around like not only do they nail the the the, the overall feel and the story like you mentioned, but they do nail the mechanics which a lot of other games miss. I, I'm fine with you disagreeing with my opinions. That's totally cool. And sometimes I do get a little bit intense about them. Um, but what I take issue with, as you take issue with me hating on games that people love, I take issue with what I brought up about Until Dawn is that love does not necessarily correlate to quality. And it's entirely possible that a million, two million, ten million people can love a game, and that doesn't make it a ten out of ten. Plenty of people love a lot of bad movies and bad food and bad everything, and that doesn't make them great. Well, I mean, the so, some things are just weird, right? Because a cheeseburger's good it's bad for you you say oh cheeseburgers bad but cheeseburgers okay you know it's awesome okay like and yes everybody loves cheeseburgers you probably shouldn't eat them as much as you do i know i shouldn't um but they're good but i do <laughs> yeah yeah and i'm gonna continue to do so and you can't stop me so don't you try but yeah just because they're bad for you a lot of other people love them doesn't mean that cheeseburgers bad there's great cheeseburgers but but, but if you had to qualify it like i talk about the mechanics and stuff the cheeseburger would still be bad I w- I'd rather eat a cheeseburger over kale any day. That's great. Twice. And plenty of people would rather play lots of bad games, evidently, over the really good ones. What's a really good game to you? Like, name just name a really good game right now. Batman Arkham Knight. All right, what's a really, really bad game that people would rather play over Arkham Knight? Okay, maybe that's a bad example, but, like, Grand Theft Auto is not a very good s- sound game. I don't know about that. I don't. I think the mechanics are poor. The characters don't control very well. The shooting feels sloppy. Online, like, what are you doing? Let's not get into this. I All right, let's go. I have enough. Do it. Problems. Do it. <laughs> Hunter writes in saying, Hey, Masters of the Video Game Universe, my name is Hunter, and I've had a lot of anxiety lately, and the podcast is one of the best solutions for me. Just wanted to say thanks for the help. Um, and my question is, do you guys have a favorite collector's edition? Ooh. Keep up the good work and have a great day. Thanks, Hunter. That's if we, if it can one. be one that we don't own, sure. but wish we owned, then I'm going to oh, go with okay. the Metal Gear. I want that arm. That's a good like, one. Oh, I the told, one. The Phantom Pain. Yeah, I told okay. Zach I want to cut my arm off and get that robot arm. Oh, okay. That's smart. You yeah, it's that. genius. Borderline, at least. Mm, borderline something. <laughs> um, man, I don't... I'm trying to think right now. I, at first, I really, really liked that Titanfall statue. But then when I saw people actually unbox it, I was like... Eh, a little cheap. Yeah, it yeah. didn't look that great. Um, I really like the Uncharted 2 Collector's Edition that I got, because that thing is like really, really valuable now. Like, insanely valuable. Um, so that's a good one. Um, what do you think? I'm trying to think. Yeah, I want to have one if you have one. Jack. I want a Trevor collector's edition, right? Where he's always wearing those shoes. He's got some shiny <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Trevor from the best. The yeah. Shoes. Yeah. No. 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 Like um. It. He a a, Sa- a Samus uh, cosplayer came up and wanted to trade shoes. Wanted to trade shoes. She was wearing heels. Could you could have had some hot heels, Trevor? Yeah. Could have been as tall as Max. Um. <laughs> my favorite collector's edition. Probably, um, remember they did Saints Row, that, like, $50,000 uh, collection mm, where you got a uh, car? No. Or something? Um, you, you like the Destiny one? You like the little ghost? I, I actually do like that in spite of Destiny. I like I like the collector's edition consoles more than the collector's edition stuff. Sorry, we're not on your level. Yeah. To be honest. I actually, you know what? I like the Uncharted 3 one as well. Because it came in that really cool box where it was okay. almost like a treasure box, yeah. remember? No. Then it had the statue inside. You got a Nathan Drake's belt buckle. And the little ring that he wears. Yeah, that's cool. For for um, so. God of War 3, they gave you a, a Pandora's box that I still use to this day. I, I put, like, medicine. That one. I'll pick that one. I'll try three. Yeah, there God you go. of War 3 and you pick another. No, I, p- I pick Metal title. Gear. I pick Metal Gear. You gotta pick another third game. Pick one. You, you Wait, what am I doing? Picking, picking a special third edition. Game. A third? A third? Yeah, I don't pick one. Edition. Just another one. I didn't pick any, actually. I picked consoles. Okay. Um, <laughs> pick one, pick one. Oh. More videos coming soon, yeah? I like <laughs> I like grapes. Um, yeah, and turtles. And crepes. Grapes and crepes, guys. Selling them both out yeah. in the side of my window. All right. Um, I like... Collector's Editions, like, don't really impress me much. That's a Shania Twain song. You ever heard that? The Batman one. Collector's Edition don't impress me much? You don't impress me much. The Batman oh, one was cool, right? <laughs> I thought it was Collector's Batman Editions. Batman one? What did it have? Oh, that crappy Batman session? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. If they did the Batmobile Scorpion. one, the one that they canceled. The Metal Gear one's a pretty nice figure. Remember? Because they were going to do the yeah. Batmobile. That would have been amazing. But oh. it never came out. This, uh, I thought you liked the Scorpion that, that was super stylized. I kind of like the Songbird from Bash Infinite. Okay. Oh, All right. That's a yeah, good one we, we mentioned a lot. And that's so a rare one, too. Yeah. I'm looking forward to... Um, 
something. Some of those Halo Collector's Editions were cool. kind of cool. Because the Master Chief helmet with yeah. three was neat. A Reach, the one where it was like all five of them, kind of like on a pillar type thing. That was pretty sweet. Oh, l and let's just mention, the, the Fantasy League thing, it's done. So, no more emails. Yeah, we said that. We did, um, also, um... There's like a weekly fantasy segment. It's gonna be it's gonna be short. Don't worry. But probably at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A um, couple more here. Uh, we're going to go back to the relationships and, and life advice. Let's um, do it. Let's see. This is what they call dead air. D you don't want to have that yeah. in Force a impression. radio show or anything of. Do you audio. know that I can make air with my mouth? Oh, really? Do it. If we get real close, you might be like able to Like carbon it. dioxide? No, I can make air. Oh, like air. What is air? Air. What does it consist of? Oxygen? It's like what's the... Pure... What's the chemical... Hot... Oh. Love from wow. my... Is that a chemical... Like, is that on the... Like, what's the table chemical now? for love? Elements? PHL. You ever heard of it? Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. All right. They must have like a very different table of elements in we got America. All, we got all the elements. All, all of them? We're America. We have one of everything. <laughs> you own them all. <laughs> you, ever, you ever been to the um, Great American Museum? No. Okay. Well, We're it's in Des Moines, Iowa. Okay. okay. And at the Great American Museum, we have okay. literally one of everything. One so, of like, everything. You one. want like one leftover shoe from New Zealand? We got it. You, you want got like it. a ring from China? We got it. Okay. You want like a Canadian guy? Stuffed in, in there. Okay. You want like a photo of Ronald Reagan when he was dancing in, in fourth grade? We they got it. it. Wow. How big is this museum? <laughs> it takes up all of Iowa. You ever heard of anything else wow. in Iowa? No. Yeah. To be fair. The Great yeah. American Museum. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is that like it is that the slang term for Iowa? Is just it's known as the Great American Museum. As soon yeah. as you drive into it, yeah. you're inside. Yeah, it's huge. It's, wow. a, dri it's a drive through museum too. You don't is like it, walk. Is it bigger drive. than the Mall of America? Way bigger. Wow. We should go there. We read should. read the email. That would be brilliant. Anthony writes in, Dear Zach, Gabe, and Max, I have a best friend who's been my friend since I was three, but four years ago Fantastic. he moved to Germany. Okay. We've kept, kept in touch through Skype, but we don't do it very often. My dilemma is he's coming back to my town for a week, and, well, we haven't seen each other in four years. I don't want it to be very awkward when I see him. What should I do? I just had this. Well, sort of. Okay. My, my best friend that I've known since I was four years old. Yes. Uh, he now lives in Houston uh, with, with his uh, girlfriend. And, he, he, you know, it hasn't been four years, but he's been gone for about a year. And, um... Like we yeah, went to he's not in Germany, but okay. Yeah, but it's still long distance. Whatever, it doesn't have to be like a whole other. But Texas must be mad. you know, a true friend, and I and I believe this strongly. You can go years without talking to them, and then once you talk to them again, it's gonna be like not a day has gone by. I think that's true friendship, and that's how it is with with me and a few friends that you don't gotta talk every day because you know he's busy. Yeah. I, I you know you're busy. Yeah. You know you know what and I mean. It becomes tricky if depending on how old did he say he is. He, did he, he didn't say. say. Yeah, because you see, it becomes tricky if you guys, like, got separated at, like, a weird age. Like, you know what I mean? Like, let's say if it's in high school. Yeah. Because then, like, when you're in college, you're a very different person than what you yeah. were in high school. Or if you're post-college, then it's going to be even more tricky. And if you didn't keep up then, it might be more difficult to, like, pick up from mm -hmm. there, you know? Because mm -hmm. a lot of people mature at that point. Or at least should. No, no, like, right, to Zach? the list. Right, Zach? Yeah. Maturing? I meant to the at list, college Zachary. Age? Right. No, well, not like not when they first get there, but maybe a little oh. after. Okay. I meant to the list. There was that one okay. that I wanted you to read. It looked good. Okay. okay. Which, which one? Yeah. It, look, this. G Gabe is requesting an email here. I'm trying to oh, make it interesting for the iTunes listeners here. All right, we're gonna um, wrap up soon because I yeah. need some shut eyes. So we'll end with this Same one. Which is a great one. Okay. Yeah, there you go. And then we'll do the hype city. Okay. All right. Now this it. is a very lengthy one. This one is from Ricardo so, in Johannesburg, South Africa. What? Shout out really? to you, global audience. Here. There you I, go. I can't stop awesome. playing. Hey, we don't just we don't just broadcast our podcast to the Americas. No. Or to the, to the the Europe. No. Or to Eurasia. No, Eurasia. Or to my Asia. We we also take it to Africa. I think, I think, wait, wait. Yeah. I think you just stop and read the email because your education level with each one just goes lower and lower. What if Max, okay. since you don't want me to text you, okay? What if I just Morse code you? Like every day. Fun fact: When I was on the flight, this guy pointed out to me that you can write music. Like um, it was um, the band Rush. You mm -hmm. know them? Okay. Like an old school like rock band. Bad band, yeah. No. Of course. Um, so apparently, some of their songs were written via Morse code beats. Whoa. So okay. like they they based on the beats, awesome. they would string the guitars. Cool. Which is pretty insane. So, so they were like really like. That. 
they're really just like spreading secret like German messages. Maybe. Or something. I don't know. That's a good point, actually. <laughs> Maybe. Max, do you fucking see how tiny you look? <laughs> Gabe, if we stand up, I'm literally just a little bit shorter than you. You're, yeah, you're a couple I inches. Want, I do want to say that when Max Not saw me again, he was right. again blown away by my height, which I don't understand. But. Because your legs are just unproportionately huge to, by, to your torso. Yeah. We've got nice legs, me and Taylor, both of us. Born on the same day, same pair of legs. Interchangeable like legs. We could. You, you could take you're my like legs off, ostrich. put them on Taylor, and same. put your legs on mine, okay. and it would be like, you wouldn't notice the difference. You just need like a beak. Read the email. A big beak. I once knew a guy in the beak. I had a tennis partner in high school. He had a beak. Really? His name was Jared. Okay. Jared was Mormon. He liked to play okay. ping pong against himself. Wow. That's how good he was. He was really, really <laughs> squeamish. He was <laughs> blood. If he saw blood, he'd be like, oh, God, and get okay. out of there. He had that backpack. You know, you know those guys in school? Oh, I hope I'm not offending any guys in school. But you know those guys in school who they don't, like, know how to, like, appropriately pull the backpack straps? So okay. Their backpack is, like, literally at their butt instead of, like, okay. up on their back where it's okay. supposed to be. Jared was one of those guys. And my favorite Jared story. <laughs> hold on. My favorite Jared story. Is uh, one time. What'd you do that for? Me and Jared were in the uh, we were in the playoffs in California for yeah. tennis, and uh, we were losing. I was telling Jared like, "You're not playing your game. Let's go, let's go." Oh, he was your partner. Yeah, like in go. doubles. Yeah, he okay, was, he was six seven. Whoa! He At dunk. what age? Freshman in high school. What? Yeah. that's insane. Yep. And he could dunk almost without jumping, and he just didn't have the personal life for sports. So I like, quit basketball before he even really started. Anyhow. And um, so he sucked this match. I was very okay. upset. He wasn't playing up to his potential. And after the match, he came at my parents and apologized. Okay. So was that it? So, so what's the moral it. of the story? The moral of the story is... Okay. Don't suck at tennis. The moral of the story is... Now, of course, there was no chance that you were playing poorly, right? Okay. Mental fortitude yeah. means more than Fortune. Uh-huh. Mental fortitude means more fortune for you. There you go. Let's move on. Read the email. Dear, hi guys. Gabe. My name is Ricardo. I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm 24 years old. Hey, what's up? Awesome show, guys. Really enjoy. What was no, that? It's not, it's not Scott. We know Scott's England. in Africa, but this isn't him. Sorry. Then uh, Scott just getting game right was mind numbing with me. I feel like Mama <laughs> Don was probably <laughs> making him angry. He's like, I gotta get with Zach before before it gets too out of control over here. <laughs> what if he just walks in? Game, game <laughs> off. <laughs> I don't mean. You guys have a cash point here? Yeah, it's looking, looking for the cash point. Yeah. I'm a little bit crazy. There you go. <laughs> Read the t- You're starting to <laughs> sound a little Australian. Take, take, but me, okay. take me back to my country, please. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Just read the email. Let's oh, go. Oh, baby. We gotta go baby. to sleep. Let's go. Here we go. Uh, this you is going to be a good one. You heard the song Push It by Salt and Pepper? Probably. I just You've don't seen the commercial names. Names. All right, we need a, we need a little demo of this. Oh guys. my! Hold, hold read the, the email. Hold, 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 here, hold, here, hold. I'm taking over. All right, all right. All right. my blanket's falling Gabe, off. Read You're the email. My legs. Huh? Okay, read I got you. Email. All right, hang on. I gotta get I gotta mm-hmm. get you a little demo of this. I am tired. I'm trying to you pres- heard push it. It's a really popular song where I come from. Okay. Which is different. I come from Mars. Yeah, <laughs> not Mars. So it's hot there, man. We're Mars. Zach, <laughs> Zach, you, Zach, you, tell them that you're not the same, that you are a Martian. I am not the same, I'm a Martian. Martian. Yeah. It's just the two of you. Feed me rappers, feed me beats. Yeah. I'm untamed. I need a leash. Yeah. I'm insane. Not going to say the next line. Yep. Um, anyways. <clears throat> All right. So this is this is a in, so what are we doing right musical now? education class. Okay. Okay. I am trying to... Oh. Oh, shit. oh yeah. I've heard it. Of course he's heard it. Not, hey, let me read the last I email. Had it. I want to read I'm one. To my People p- ask me if you're a control freak about with the emails. No, I, I've told them now, but now I don't know. I don't want you to lose your voice like me. I'm taking one for the team. You hear this? Oh, oh okay. I Gosh, appreciate. Oh, okay. Do you know what I go through for you too? Yeah, a lot. It a seems lot. like yeah. <laughs> you guys. People may think like I'm the goofball of the bunch, but I'm really the mom of this whole crew. I take care of everybody. I handle their problems. <sighs> I send their emails. Uh huh. I. Sometimes it's gotten a little gross what I have to do for these. Yeah, two. Oh, real. When, awesome. that, when that when that guy confronted you on the swagway last night, I was ready to, 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 to protect you. Thanks, however, son. I needed Thanks, to. In, awesome. what, in what way? He just said like. Well, no, because at first he, he seemed sort of aggressive at first. Oh, Gabe would defend okay. me with his life. Would you? No. That would. Awesome show, guys. Really, uh, really enjoy <laughs> listening to your podcast <laughs> during work. Keeps me alive in such a dull environment. I'm trying to pursue my passion of gaming as a job or even part time job. I know it may sound like every other gamer, but I have really realized that I should pursue it a long time ago instead of listening to my family wishes of having a stable job, which I now have as an accountant. I've been playing games my whole life, from Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, PlayStation 1, so on and so forth, all the way up to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, PC as well. 
I could sit for hours and then just playing games, finding all the secrets, exploring everything, all genres from JRPGs to shooters, action RPGs, MOBA, strategy, sports, racing. I attend the gaming conference we have every year here called Rage. I enter competitions in South Africa. Basically, I really enjoy a career in gaming, maybe reviewing or game testing. In South Africa, though, the chance to pursue gaming as a career option is not abundant, and that probably is what made me take the safe option to become an accountant. I really regret this choice now, as most days at work I get depressed and my life has become a lull. I still play games now, but it's just not the same. I feel like I need to rush the game and can't enjoy it fully. I find myself just not getting enough game time. My girlfriend says I just get my fix and then I'm fine for a few days. Mm-hmm. Listening to you guys in the podcast has helped a bit, but I really am trying to find a way out. I'm trying to sign up for some game testing jobs, but I find, but I'm not sure if they will want a person from South Africa with no experience. So I'm wondering if you guys have any suggestions on where to start and what I should do. Sorry for the long, depressing email, but any help would be appreciated. And you guys must just keep doing what you were doing and know that you're saving some people from having their souls sucked out of them. There you go. Uh, we're saving souls over here, Max. Yeah, soul savers. Yeah. What do you soul know? Soul saver? Like, like the Ghostbusters. No, soul yeah. saver is a new TV show we're making. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. We're producing we're working, it already? Warners. Okay. Is, is this going to be our first project as a group? No, j- no, yeah. we've, well, no, we've had okay. projects before. We've had projects before. Oh, really? Podcast is a project. Podcast is a project. Project is a project. Project is a project. Project is a project. Project is a project. Guys, podcast. it's going to be fun to be at Bax. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, he's a guy. He wants to be involved in the gaming industry. It's hard. It's a hard knock life out there in South Africa. Yeah. There's not a lot of opportunities or support. Any advice or suggestions for him as people who are not part of the gaming industry? <laughs> Gabe, why don't you take it away? Me? Yeah, you know everything. I, I, could, I, could, I don't know. I, you want me to give him advice? Okay, so. Well, well you give him first advice. I got right, second I got advice. First, first blush. And then first, I'll, yeah. I'll, you know, like, I'll deliver the final. Final, yeah. final blow. Yeah. You know, like, when, when you see, like, that super pretty girl, you want to get the first blush. Yeah. You yeah, want yeah, yeah. a first chance. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. Or if you're, like, you notice the, 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 cre- the crop isn't so creamy. Yeah. And you got lots of cream. You let that crop filter out, and then you're, like, baby. I'm delicious. Okay. What's the sound to do with this? So here's what I got to say. Before I did YouTube, I was really interested in working in a similar... There's f- something on your foot. 10 bands. 50 bands. 100 <laughs> bands. Just running through the budget. Man. Yeah. OMG. Okay. Trevor's asleep. I'm going to let him let, sleep. Uh, let him rest in peace. Let him rest in peace. Yeah. I can tell you how it happened. <laughs> I can tell you about the We should go to Calabasas. Uh, Calabasas. We should go. We I should go. tell you I'm not a rapper. You're okay. not a rapper. I'm, a rapper. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not either. Max is. Max is a rapper. Yeah, part Go back to the man's email. I like those sick beats, yo. Yeah. Keep that awesome. You know how we do. Flow. He, the, guy at the, flow. Wet, the guy at the wedding was actually pretty good with the, with the beatboxing. Track. Making that oh, yeah, yeah. Jewish dough. Sure. All right. If you're so, not going to give him v- advice, so, I will. So, Ricardo, like, look, seriously, um, I really wanted to do, like, game review type stuff when, when before YouTube, and um, it's a very small and hard industry, like, bluntly and, and, like, straight up, like, there are not a lot of jobs. It's a very um, exclusive and also, like, inclusive industry in terms, that's not maybe the right word, what am I trying to say? They, they hire their own a lot. You'll notice a lot of people switching from site to site, company to company. New blood is hard, and a lot of that has to do, from what I know, on the fact that it's a very tight group and also the pay isn't that great. And so bringing in new people, um, there's not a ton of money in it. So bringing in new people, one, isn't attractive and, and two, it, it's not always an option. Um, that's why you see a lot of shuffling in multiple roles, especially at publications. But if you want to get into it, I think the best thing to do would be go gung-ho on what you can do now, right? If there's not a lot of opportunities there for you to like get a job or whatever, you talk about you don't have a lot of experience. Well, right now in, in 2015, it's plenty of opportunities to create your own experience. So you could do a multitude of things as simple as writing your own blog, uh, as simple as creating your own YouTube channel, doing verbal reviews, video reviews. Um, if you want this to be something legitimate and you're trying to balance it with accounting, do something small on the side, right? Don't don't set it up like, oh, I'm going to go and get hired immediately because that's probably not going to happen. And I don't know what the gaming landscape is in South Africa. It might require a move. And if that's what you, know, you need for your life, great, go for it. I think happiness, personal happiness should come before almost anything else. But Right now, what you can do, I really think, like, if you're saying you're lacking experience and you want things to send people, work your butt off on samples. If you want to do, like, the journalistic thing, work your butt off on video reviews. Show that you're a dynamic person that, uh, you know, country, location, origin, that stuff doesn't matter, that you have what it takes. You seem like a super hardcore fan, so put that stuff into practice, whether it's with YouTube. Maybe you'll find you hate it. Maybe you'll find you love it. Maybe you'll come across another opportunity, but, like, in, in today's day and age with the internet and as you see from the three of us here like we're here because we love games and we started something on our own so like take that initiative to get going and even if it doesn't become something you will then have that sort of portfolio to 
possibly, hopefully, maybe get. I can the job I you're can offer for. some slight help. Okay. Super slight. Sure. Right. Yeah. Um, but but I do want to echo a couple of things that you said first, right? Yeah. Like you're an accountant, so you're probably making decent money. I don't know how much an accountant makes in South Africa, mm -hmm. but you can buy a capture device and you know start recording, buy a microphone. Like it's not super expensive. Start. Start a YouTube channel, like no, your YouTube channel will not blow up. You're not gonna be the next PewDiePie, and that's okay. But you know, get over being shy on camera, get over being shy on microphone, because that's a thing that takes time. Yeah, and, and uh, that's super important. So start doing that on your spare time. And if like you want to write, if you like legitimately want to write, like I write for, uh, I, I've been writing for this small website, right? It's not huge, like forty thousand views per month. It, it, you know, it's super small, but it's a professional looking website, super run by professional people. And they're just trying to start something up. And if you really, 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 really want to write a review, they have like smaller games all the time that no one really wants to cover. I'm, I'm sure I could get you to cover one and it could go on the site. Like if that's, you know, uh, what you want. From what I hear a lot, like the gaming industry, especially on sort of like the, the press side is a very much like climb up the ladder type thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're not going to like become Jeff Gersman's, you know, co-host on the giant bomb cast immediately. You might. I might. Yeah. But you can, you can do things and work your way up. So it doesn't have to be IGN right away. There is IG in Australia, by the way. Yeah. I don't know if you looked into he's that. Not anyway. in, uh, Anyways, he's from, I mean, but... He's but, not in Australia. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's a thing. Okay, well... Uh, yeah. there, there is... A, a, who is there, IG in Africa? I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> Elephants read. Anyways, um... <laughs> but honestly, I mean, like, the thing is, he doesn't even need to seek... Like, you see so many people now who were in that traditional media. They don't want to be in it. They're all turning away from it. So I would honestly, I think, if you're future-proofing your career... I wouldn't even consider going to that. Like, if you have yeah. the luxury of just being an unknown, try to build your own voice and try to find your own audience because you're better off to do, like, even if you won't be able to scale it up in the traditional, like, YouTube model or whatever, there's lots of models now, like, the kind of funny guys where they do mm -hmm. Patreon. And, like, if you can get a loyal audience of even 100 or 200 people who will, are willing to give you a few dollars a month for your content... Sure. You can make that a sustainable career and job just via that. And then you're not also tied to like, you know, reporting to other people or right. you have a lot more leeway about how you want to present yeah. your content. And I don't think it has to be all or nothing either. Like like Gabe said, you could find maybe some f small freelance gig and do that on the side of accounting. Maybe that will be enough of a palate cleanser to make yeah. your job more bearable. You'll enjoy games more because you'll have sort of a purpose with it. That's an option as well in terms of like a little bit. Of also, it's not as glamorous as you think it is. Like, cause we like all three of us yeah. technically play games for 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 our job technically. It does burn. It, some yeah, of the, it takes the magic away. Yeah. So that love that you feel for games, like especially if you, if you do what me and Zach do, which is like play everything and then me play it as fast as you can. Like it, it some of the passion it falls by the wayside because yeah, yeah, you have so much on top. But I still love it. Yeah, yeah, I but mean, I still love it too. It, yeah, it does become different, and I've heard this from reviewers specifically of like. When you're on that grind of like you get a review copy and now you got to play, you know, Metal Gear Solid Five for yeah. thirty hours in the next day and a half, like it does become a job. Yeah. But that's yeah. what I'm getting at. Like I feel like it's changing now. Yeah. Like and if you can develop a voice mm -hmm. and like identify a group of people who will look to you to be like, okay, that person thinks like I do about games, and they go to you to evaluate like yeah. a title, then you don't. You're not even tied to a release date or anything sure. like that. You're just tied to putting out there the content that you like so that would be it and then the second one like what they said like you don't have to like immediately drop your job and just like go gung-ho mm -hmm. like you can totally just stick with that and slowly but surely like yeah build it up like you know like oh. i did for a long time other things so yeah yeah it just takes time All yeah right, let's do a quick hype city before we wrap this thing All right, up hype city hype hype city Are i'm gonna hit it off metal right. gear because Wait, wrong game. Where the I, I, I'm go? shocked by that because ah, ah, this the one. reviews were incredible. And the thing is, I wanted to explain like the reason why I, I feel like my worry was justified because of all that mess, right? Like yeah. Kojima and then the stuff they say about behind the scenes with some of the microtransactions. There were so many things that were like so weird about the game that it felt like, okay, it's going to be a, a mess, you know? Because it, it almost felt to me like it started to feel like, you know, the Fantastic Four movie that just came out recently? Yeah. Where the studio got involved a lot and the, the whatever. The right. creative director and the studio, they clashed too much. I felt like this would be the same thing where, like, Kojima had a vision, but then Konami comes in and they're like, no, 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 we're going to do this and this. But from what it seems like, it seems like they left the game be, they let him, like, you know, write his final chapter or what will probably end up being his final chapter and uh yeah i'm excited to play it because of that especially because 
Metal Gear 4 kind of soured me on the franchise because I felt like it wasn't really the right direction to yeah. go in. If we just move down the line, I'm going to echo that. Metal Gear Solid 5, the fact that it's gotten so many 10s and 9.5s has me incredibly intrigued. Yeah. I want to see how the flow of the game really feels. Like, Is it a Drake flow? Does he have that Meek Mill flow? Yeah. Is he more on like that common flow? Yeah, okay. I, I can dig that, though. Anyhow, um, I just want to know how the whole like system works and how it structures itself as it progresses in a, in a linear story but in an open world game with flexibility um, and how that's all handled. And, and I want to see and some interesting of interesting multiplayer, too. Because yeah. it has that, like, Dark Souls stuff, kind of. Where, yeah, like the base building yeah. and, like, taking other people's stuff. And, and just, I kind of like the craziness. I really liked 4. I did not like Ground Zeroes at all, mostly because of the, the you know, the, the money proposition. But I am very interested, especially because it's gotten such glowing reviews, and to see if it can be, like, a game that does capture me in the way that some of my favorites yeah. do. We'll see. Do you, do you want bombs inside of people? I don't know. I, that's the part that gives me a little worried. Bloody... There's a lot of blood in this. A lot of, I've seen a lot of bloody bodies on posters. Yeah, a Wyatt lot of... is covered... She doesn't have clothes, but she has a lot of blood. Yeah, that's all you need. It's like, you just don't need clothes to cover yourself up. Yeah. We should try that tomorrow. Let's do it. At PAX. Yeah. Just cover ourselves in blood. You up for this, Max? Yeah. I'm sure they'd let us in, too. Nope. They, they let anybody in. <laughs> uh, you guys are going to go in there as plants, no? It's not yeah. what you're doing? No, we're going to stand outside yeah, as uh, outside, outside packs as oh, plants, okay. to, and then we're going to get bloody and then go in. Okay. By the other people that we insult on the yeah. streets. And get on our level. Tre your, Trevor could just film it all. Yeah. Trevor is, your, is yours Metal Gear 2? Yeah, I, I held it up first. Metal Gear 2 or 5? No, 5. Okay. You, you're going for 2? Okay. Is, is it getting remastered? <laughs> um, that's going to wrap it up for this week. I'm like losing my voice. It's late. We'll be back to your normal show next week. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We're going to try to get some other cool stuff going, so we'll keep you guys posted about that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for downloading and reviewing the show. And uh, just as a, as a real sappy moment, it's super good to do this live with yeah. you guys. I love you so much. I yeah. wish we could like honestly all work together. Do you know what, do you know what we get to do? What? We, we get to do um, a cheers with the microphones. Oh, that's going to be real you, cool. Do, you want, do we do yeah. it now? We, we, uh, one for all and all for all. Oh, okay. ooh, I like this. Bam. There. Boom. That's beautiful. Dude, there. You guys are what beautiful. if I messed up all the audio? Just uh, after okay, it, it just <laughs> that, that one decision broke right. everything. 25 episodes in the bag. I'm pretty, pr pretty proud that we've That's done pretty this crazy. We've done this for 25 weeks in a row. Weeks in a row. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. It's a lot of weeks. Round and what a way to round up 25. At PAX. At PAX. In Live person. I, I was planning it the whole time so it could end up like this. Thanks, Gabe. Yeah. Gabe's always got it back. And we are going to have a small meet tomorrow that you don't know about or you've got, you were at. Thanks for coming. It was fun. <laughs> uh, but at whatever, whatever show we're at next, we're going to actually get it a little bit more structured. And hopefully yeah. the podcast continues to grow in a way that we can do it in a more structured way. Eventually and having maybe, that live panel yeah. is my goal. And if we can do it half as good Dude, as the Battleborn people panel, were standing today at, at, at the women in, in, in gaming they panel. Didn't they didn't know what the line was for, and I they were there. I will Taylor cut out and us to the panel. Yeah. It'll and be we'll brilliant. Time of our lives. And we, is she going to be like our co-host on that? Oh, yeah. Dude, oh, okay. if 4,000 people showed up for that Gearbox thing, we can get like... A <laughs> I, we just need 50 good people. Yeah, that's how we need. 50 good men and women. Ba babies. <laughs> There Show. was a baby up there. Yeah, there was a baby cosplayer. He was, was he? Yeah, cosplaying his claptrap? He had like a little claptrap shirt. Yeah. shirt. It's know. pretty adorable. Right. We're, not, we're really done this time though. How do you feel about babies, Gabe? They're not for me. You, never? Never. What if I was like, Gabe, Okay. I can't have kids. Okay. Which is not true. But I, Steve, I would, Steve, okay. I would like you to have kids. Steve can't have kids. He can't. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Where is this going? Are we? <laughs> Would you have a kid? Like if I was like Gabe, I, I want you to have a kid so like I can feel like a dad. Yeah, sure. Then, uh, yeah. Why not? I love Gabe. Yeah. Anyways, I love you guys too. Thanks so much for watching, and listening. We'll see you next week for twenty six. Until that time, though, everyone enjoy your game. It's a big week. A lot to talk about. We'll be back with Mad Max, Metal Gear, and more. And Tiny Max, to go with Mad Max. Until that time, though, everyone. Thanks so much I'm for watching. Sitting Test there next day. time. Drink your hot chocolate. Drink. Your hype juice. Yeah. We are going to get some good stuff soon. Till then, we'll see you all later.